Welcome back to Numbers on the Board. Numbers on the Board, yes! Before we get into today's episode, let me remind you to leave a like on it. Subscribe to the YouTube channel as we are on our road back to 100K. Uh, the month of February for the Numbers on the Board crew was our best month yet. And we appreciate y'all. But we want to do better in March and then April and then May. And then eventually we'll be the number one most subscribed to channel on YouTube. Look out, Mr. Beast. You can't do that without y'all. <laughs> also, coming up this Thursday, the Enjoy Basketball brand is redropping the Enthusiast hat if you know you know just be on, on on lookout for thursday drop how we feeling boys i'm feeling amazing how you feeling feeling great feeling especially great. with the weather breaking a little oh bit man us. i know it's too early like worldwide we're not supposed to have this nice weather mm -hmm. but it still feel good to have feel good feel good i had a, a coat on walked out that door i was like man i don't even need this thing. exactly and yesterday i walked out to take the garbage out and i had some shorts on and it was just like perfect yeah. That's how I felt this morning. This morning, you know, you usually get in the car like, whew. But this morning was real nice. Just get in and start and pull just off. Just get in, no coat, no jacket. Windows just, down a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. It's just it's just a it's just a vibe. But it's, it's so sad that we're not supposed to be having this vibe. Why yeah, is it sad? Just like big scheme, global yeah. warming. Oh, who cares? <laughs> who I cares? do. Polar bears are gonna go extinct soon. They'll be all right. I was I was talking to my wife. About I love this. polar bears too, but they'll be all right. <laughs> Not if they're no, dead. No, yeah. they're literally dying. <laughs> I would rather, but I would rather have warm weather. Oh, that's, oh, that's crazy. crazy. <laughs> that's, but I was talking to my wife about this, that there are there are animals that we've experienced in our lifetime that our kids will not be able to experience because yeah. they're gonna be they're gonna be gone. Like rhinos. Rhinos I didn't know rhinos almost, were in danger. Rhinos are almost. I was extinct. about to ask you, which, that. Well, yeah. elephants might be extinct. Oh, don't what, say that. Oh, you for not real? The elephants. Oh. just because people kill them regularly. <sighs> yeah, mm -hmm. some sp species of tigers are almost about to go extinct. Mm. So those animals are the ones that were shot. I don't have an experience no rhino. Oh, I don't, don't they? Is it something for like their horn or their yeah, skin? It's something like horn. that. But actually, the horn hasn't been proven to do anything. Yeah. So I know people just, definitely do it for the sport, though. Like, they yeah. putting it on top of their mantle or whatever. The yeah. elephant and the, the polar bear picture. thing is crazy, though, because the polar bear has always been my favorite thing to see at the zoo. I don't know why. It's just I like polar bears. Um, elephants are obviously, they kind of they kind of scary. But I've never, yeah, I've never seen like no, I don't think I've ever seen no rhino. Really? There's yeah. one, there's one at Brookfield Zoo. Yeah, You're I don't serious? think I've yeah. ever like, yeah. was like, let's go look at the rhino. Oh, I love seeing a rhino. Just because those big ass horns like <laughs> yeah, that. They're cool. It's, it's such an amazing animal. Brookfield got that albino um, alligator. I've seen it before, yep. Yeah, yeah I know what you mean. I don't think I've seen the albino yeah, alligator. Yeah, he's like, he's like, he's the he's white. Yeah, yeah he's, I've never yeah. seen it. So he's pretty big alligator. too. It's not like yeah, a baby one. hell. Oh, He's wow. Big as hell. I've, I've been in the reptile exhibit many a times. I've never seen Next that. time you go, you'll see. Hey, them. boys trip, Brookfield Zoo. Zoo. Well, the, we mean you the already. The shed went. is, I like they, going they to the shed together. too. They got to go together. They got to go together. No, we, it, it ain't, <laughs> it's not a thing if two out of the four go. That's why we try to tell Mike when we go out of town, come no, shopping with us. Me and KB did a double date. You two now got to do a double date. Oh, sure. Was I your, know was your daughter here date. yet? No, okay. not at all. Me and Mike now we got to do it with the kids. Me yes, and Mike went on a double date already. We just don't talk about them all the time. Oh, shit. Yeah. Look at y'all. Y'all cute. <laughs> <laughs> we, we went to Benihana. Oh. Mm -hmm. Very, very low key. Y'all do seem like Benihana guys. Yeah. No, you Did seem they? like a Benihana guy letting the shrimp get f tossed in your mouth. Why not? <laughs> so no, we just no did the downside. I'm, to having, the shrimp. I'm having fun with the boys trips. We just did the golfing yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, I'm so excited that we finally started the golf chapter. I was, I've been invested into the golf shit. Well, you almost thirty. Last two years, it's that time. And I, I felt like man, we can't be hoopers no more. We got to be golfers. <laughs> well past our athletic prime. So that's golf is where you can still be into sports without being athletic. Well, I don't know about Mike. We saw him. <sighs> Mike doesn't I look like he's hoop. ever played a sport in his life. You you know what I show again? I showed my wife that video that I took of you, and she said, "I cannot believe that he's ever played a sport before." And I was telling her that you're actually decent at basketball, so it doesn't make it, it does not translate to and any football. other sport. No, it doesn't translate no. to any other sport. <laughs> but you know what's also funny about Mike? Mike is Mike is a low key strong guy. Yeah. When Mike show like he ain't gonna show it all the time, but when Mike has to use some of his strength or get down and dirty, Mike would like he's that got slam no, ball. Oh, Mike yeah. was Mike was Mike pulled out some grittiness. Sure, have money on the line. I don't, right. <laughs> I don't think you have any natural athletic ability. I don't. That like your basketball stuff. Like I saw you play basketball when you first started. You were awful. You made the team though. Some people didn't. Uh, and you work your way to get decent at basketball. You just got to do the same thing with these other sports too. 
Some people are just yeah. naturally gifted to be okay at a lot of stuff. Yeah, I had like work. myself. <laughs> I see you swing too. <laughs> my swing it was, was better than mine. My, my swing is good. He my kept swing. hitting. The, he kept hitting the, hitting the edge. The th- the reason that shit is always gonna be tough for me is because for whatever reason, when I pick up an object that I have to use to play, I'm lefty. But every day of my life and every moment, I'm a right-handed guy. Except baseball, golf, and probably yeah, LeBron. Maybe tennis. I don't. I've never played tennis, but I'm, I would wonder which hand would be dominant for me. You probably yeah. be left-handed there too. So it's like yeah. it throws me off because it's like I'm left, but I'm not supposed to be left. It's just so weird. Even yesterday, we get up to the thing. I'm trying to swing. Oh, he yeah. like, man, y'all at the wrong bay. Y'all gotta go upstairs. <laughs> I thought it's all right. He's like, nah, I need go- left golf. I don't know. That's just it. Always throw me off. But when I went into that uh, t- yesterday. The guy that was helping us out, he looked me down and said, I know who you are. Oh, for real? And the way he said it was like kind of eerie in a way. <laughs> like, I'm, like I'm this bad guy. Like I'm a mob <laughs> boss or something. I know. <laughs> well, you got a wanted poster. <laughs> what if, what if, what if, this, what if this, this, this is how my brain works. This is why we should do skits. He said, I know who you are. That's where it started. We go, we golf, whatever. You pay for the leave. He like. See you later, Mr. Morant. <laughs> <laughs> I know who you are, John Morant. <laughs> you like, I'm not John Morant. <laughs> but yeah, that, that shit was fun, man. It was a good time. Uh, do y'all, now that y'all did that, how ready would y'all be for actual course? Not close. You saw how we was performing. I need at least three more trips of that, at the least. I feel like I need more than three. At the, at, that's why I said at the least. Yeah. At the least. The weather is starting. I think we I think we get in a perfect window. Yeah. I think if we use all the March doing that consistently a couple times a week, um, a little bit of April, and I think the weather will really break and we'll be ready we to do. We can make that into a YouTube video. Terrence has definitely Terrence knows a place near us that's an outdoor driving range. Oh it's okay. not a course, but it's on the gr- it's driving. on the green. You could be outside and just driving the ball. Basically I need, what we're I need doing, that. but without the simulator. So I need that. But I'm just I'm just happy that we're doing it, man. I've been subscribed to Golf Digest for two years now. <laughs> And I feel like I at a certain point, I'm wasting my money because I'm not even really. I got to get the finesse game down. Yeah, because you was definitely hitting it off the tee. You was doing Yesterday was a phenomenal day of the conversation me and KB was having a previous day. Because you can drive the ball, which is what I felt was important. Because me and Mike, sometimes KB, he was better than us. We couldn't even get to the short game. Oh. But then you was getting to the short game and you was. <laughs> He was still driving. (laughs) (laughs) So it was just like, but it's crazy. I would feel like I'm hitting it soft, but then I would hit it hard. It was it was one time you were like 20 yards away, and you hit it so damn hard that you ended up up 60 yards (laughs) yards away, the opposite direction. But yeah, we got it's just it's just fun that we all on the same level. Like mm-hmm. nobody won yesterday. Yeah, That's no. crazy. And the goal was to get within ten feet of the hole, and it's pretty much ma- <laughs> and nobody got within ten feet. Nobody of the hole. won. We all. <laughs> hey, got you like, was doing zero. Yeah. Yes, I yes. was trying to do zero the night the night before y'all went. I like how the dude that was like the work uh, employee there was just like zero. He said, "You just gonna waste hella time. It's gonna take all day. <laughs> gonna waste hella yeah, whoever time." Whoever set you up did you dirty? No, nah, the ago. dude that set me up tried to tell me, and I was like, "No, nah, let's just do zero. <laughs> so he just, <laughs> just yeah, it out. we were trying to do the courses. He's like, "Give us one of the hardest ones with the mountains. <laughs> <laughs> Them other ones too easy." I, w- I was, I was on a uh, Golf Digest Instagram, and it was like. Two dream courses. One was Pebble Beach, oh, and yeah. I'm like, we went, we played, we did, we went there. It was Augusta. We and got Pebble double Beach. par every time, but we played <laughs> double we played par. The Man, we literally got double par. I, I have a, I have a book that's like a textbook that I bought yeah, a couple years yeah. ago about golf, just like teaching like you the, the game and everything. It's just the history of golf in this book, and it's green like turf. That was cool. I never saw double par in my life. <laughs> it was just something that they yeah. When I played in the chat, saw... he was like, "Do you mean double par, or double bogey?" I'm yeah. like, "No, double par." I'm like, "I've never heard of this <laughs> shit. Never. We so bad that they that's some shit that they don't even talk about because they like, man, the pros ain't finna get no double par. So yeah, we don't have to teach you about that. Yeah, <laughs> double. I, mean, double I was, par. I've been watching the documentary though. Yeah, you see, yeah. I got to I got to type in who's documentary. I got to type it's, in. Um, it's like a, it's following multiple people on the PGA tour. It's oh. called Full Swing. It's on Tiger. In it? Uh, no. You get mm. clips of Tiger, but he Tiger. said my favorite. Mickelson? He said my favorite mm-hmm. golfer in there, mm. Brooks Kepka. Bubba, oh, Bubba Watson. I'm also on episode three, so I don't know what's happening. Oh. Three through. Is eight, this his yeah. episode, Brooks? Um, his episode is two. I'm di- I'm skipping right to two. Yeah. Um, anyway, Mike, you got to drop the mic. Yes, I do. 
What's your favorite five golfers? <laughs> <laughs> Top five seasonings. <laughs> uh, today we're going to be talking about a little bit of the future. We'll get into that later. But we're going to talk about some of the oldest players in our league and kind of gauge, think about how many years can they actually play left? Mm-hmm. Uh, we're going to do the top five oldest. We'll start at the bottom. So Al Horford, age 37-year-old, still pretty impactful for yeah. the Boston Celtics. He, oh. Al could probably be your sixth to seventh man for two to three more years, I think. Mm-hmm. This, is a good mic, this is a good drop to Mike just because it plays into the overall topic of the episode, which is it's, a, it's bittersweet because I was thinking about like type of questions I want to ask y'all of what – the league is going to look like it or not. But in talking about who not going to be in the league is kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. Even his name, Al Horford. Al Horford is not a guy that I think is on the front of everybody's mind. But if he just poofed away from the league, he would start to pop up in the back of your mind. Like, man, remember mm-hmm. Al Horford? Al Horford could really hoop. Al Horford was good in college, good NBA uh, career, all-star. Every team he's been on has really been a winning team. What college you went to? I don't know. What college you went to? It's not my it's not my bit, but Al Hoof is one of the ones. He's one of the all time college players, kind of, I guess. Oh wait, Lord. no. There That's, you go. I, I, I yes. was, he went to school with Noah. Yes, I he was did. Just, yes, he did. Yeah. <clears throat> Who else was on that team? Other NBA player. Bradley Beal. He went there, but <laughs> he not with them. He went there probably Brewer. a decade. Corey Brewer. Brewer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How, How many fun? did they who, who was their coach? I don't remember. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Lock in, Mike. Who was their coach? He's an active Billy NBA Donovan. coach. Yes, there you go, Big Bill. So proud of you, boy. <laughs> Big Bill. I'm so proud of you. There you go. So about two to three years for Al Horford. I think so. Yeah, I think he can always be serviceable. Like is it staying in the league or being good. Just just staying in the league. Some of these players, like Al Horford, is going to be the type that he's going to go out when he wants to go out. Like mm-hmm. he'll always have an opportunity to make an NBA roster. And I think people would always want him in the locker room. That's one of the main yeah. reasons why. Give me three years. Yep, give me three years. I also don't see him being a guy who's just gonna straggle along. He's he has, he's a, a man of standards. Yeah, no, he's gonna always be on a contending team. He's not gonna be. on But a I mean, like he's gonna want to, he's gonna want to contribute. Oh, mm-hmm. true. I don't think he's gonna be a guy that's just like, man, I'm. He's not gonna be as Udonis Haslam. I don't want to disrespect. I didn't want to disrespect Udonis Haslam like but that. But no, no. But like towards the end of his career, Udonis Haslam was really playing. But he, he means so more. much to that team. Yeah, he was more so doing locker room stuff. But yeah, I don't think Al Horford's gonna do that. I think he has to be able to contribute. The most forgotten about Al Horford time. It was when OKC? he was with the 76ers. Oh, the OKC ones too. But yeah. the oh. 76er year was so nasty. They gave him that bag too. They were like, hey, he's the only person that can stop Joel Embiid, so let's bring him on the team <laughs> so we don't have to worry <laughs> about that anymore. And they uh, combined that with the OKC year. A lot of people thought it was close to the end for Big Al, and they back, ended up back in Boston, and then now here he is still and doing great you stuff. You saying that just popped up. I think that's why probably being an agent is a tough thing to do in the NBA because it, you have to – it's a fine line where you want your player to get a bag, especially knowing that NBA careers can't be as long as – you know, it's just unpredictable. Mm-hmm. It, uh, you're one injury away from never being the same player. So you, you want to tell your guy, hey, D. Mills, it's your bag, but you also want your guy to go to a place where he can fit and look his best because if you get that bag and you don't produce, you're just that guy now with that big-ass contract that's, that's unattractive. Yeah. Like, I feel like Tobias Harris' value as a player for a few years was extremely low because he was making a lot of money. Mm-hmm. And I feel like if Tobias Harris, after this year, goes into free agency and made – Nineteen million dollars a year, he would be a steal. His value would go up because he's on a cheap contract. Attaching that big contract to you, and the, the place ain't necessarily the most productive uh, position for you to be in. Could really, so it's like a that's a hard job to try to figure out. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And as the agent, you always gonna take the bag. And as a mm-hmm. player, yeah, you just it's just hard to not yeah. to. But at the same time, so let me ask you this: If you're my agent, I'm a player. Mm-hmm. Would you rather me? Give him one big payday or be able to play in the league for 15 years? Play in the league for 15 years is more valuable. No, I think that's... like you're consistently getting revenue every year. Mm -hmm. I think longevity is actually like... But playing 10 years and making $5 $5 million a year is $50 million versus getting a $75 million contract one time. (laughs) Big Big contract is relative to the time, too. Right, like oh, a big yeah. contract in 2013 is a lot different than a big contract in Very 2023. True. Very true. That's true. Yeah. <clears throat> the longevity part is cool. Like, obviously, we got some of the top dogs, like LeBron James, going to be on this list. But some of these other players, like 
Taj Gibson is 38 years old. I think as yeah. long as Ta- Thibodeau's in the league, That's he's probably still going to have a, a job. Taj gets called just by the He way. just but, got his own day in New York. Was that? Did y'all see that? I did not see that. I did not. He uh, had his own day? That was weird. Yeah, it's like January 19th is Taj Gibson day. He's what? from New York too, right? That's... I think he's from New York. I couldn't. So I that kind of play. It's like when Marcus oh. Morris got the key to the city when he got traded yeah. to Philly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he hasn't done anything like for, for Philly. For the team. But he's but just he's, from there. Yeah. Um, yep. NYC Did names. Did his brother get a key too? February. I didn't see. I don't, don't I didn't see Philly, that. I guess. Uh, don't get one. <laughs> February 18th is Todd, Todd Gibson Day. Gibson received the honor for his legacy of charitable deeds and his ongoing efforts to help the local community especially its younger residents. Make Boom. sure we celebrate that next season, February right. 18th. And also make sure all the kids get school off that day, too. Matter of <laughs> fact. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Let, let's book Mass our NYC day. flight for, for February 18th. True. We yeah. got to stop in the city and show some love. <laughs> we just all wear Todd Gibson jerseys. Yep. And go shop at Soho. <laughs> uh, I call Bulls Todd Gibson jersey, by the way. I, got I call the, uh, Wolves. Tim Wolves. No, I was about to say Tim Wolves. Next you dude is... Dicks. No, I get USC. <laughs> That's the best version. The of next it. dude is a, a guy that PJ Tucker. Oh, PJ Tucker. Why do you not want to describe? You started to describe him and said, "Ah, this is tough for because me because he wanted to get traded and it just never happened." Yeah, He's it's on the tough. Clippers. He uh, in my series with the Hawks. Mm-hmm. Subscribe, P with a gamer Atlanta Hawks series. A lot of comments talking about P. You do a horrible job promoting this. I've been watching for seven years. I didn't know you. But anyway, um, he was he retired after the first year of Sim. And I'm like, hmm. he's 30, is 38 retire? years old. He's not going to retire. He's got a, a player option for next season for he's 11 million. That's just the big out. reason why he doesn't want to take the buyout. Yep. Yeah. So his NBA career is probably But does P.J. Tucker feel like he's retiring anytime soon? No, he no. actually played a couple nights ago. I was like, there's P.J. Like, he's getting real minutes. He got he three don't play. He don't. His energy is not 30. It don't get. It's not giving, as the, <laughs> as the, as the, as the women would say. It's not giving 38. Like giving 38. It's not giving 38. Sometimes when you, you pick up on that lingo a little bit. No, I'm being <laughs> funny. Wait, wait, what's the one? What's the one? Oh, my God. Is it's the thing for me. It's, it's, it's the thing. Blake Kyra for me. loves it, that, oh, It's the blank for me. It's like, the third. It's the not playing for me. <laughs> <laughs> the clip. It's the eleven million dollar play option for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, next person. He talking about you. Sometimes pick up on that. I ain't picked up on a damn thing like that yet. <laughs> you be in the house. I'm like Angie. These wings. It's the sauce for me. <laughs> 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 I need KB to answer this one. Christopher Emmanuel Paul. Chris Paul's got a decade left in the tank if you really want to. Nah, he's just lying. Uh, no, Chris Paul's coming back tonight. Yes. Tonight. Yes. The return, baby. And I love it. Warriors Twitter, man, I'm back. Um, how long does he have? His body is giving up on him every single day. I, I don't know how much. Maybe a two years, a year. It's funny, crazy because when he's playing, he's actually good. He's very good. Well, he's still yeah, good. he's still decent. Yeah. yeah like I don't want to glaze too much. Yeah, he's still very good. He's a serviceable backup PG now. I don't think he's a... Starting PG for a franchise no more, but I think he's a very good backup PG at this point. Maybe my average 40 if Chris Paul's on that team. Oh, man. Get him over there. That's what he got traded to in my series. <laughs> <laughs> he traded him to the Spurs. I hate that for him. He traded him to the Spurs. We need him contending. I love to see I, him on the Bucks. He's got a, a partially guaranteed contract for next season, which is going to be interesting to see what the Warriors do with that. I thought they were going to move his contract this year because it's $30 million. Next year it's not $30 million. It's like a percentage of something. Some It's like tied into it. 2K, update y'all game. We need yeah. that. We need that in the game. So we'll see what happens with his contract after that. But I, I'm, I'll give him like two more years. You got me paying $30 million to a person who shit is partially guaranteed. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Paul as a backup point guard sounds really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if he's your backup PG, you know. you're typically good. When he was it. playing, it was the second time in Steph Curry's career that it was a positive net rating when Steph Curry wasn't on the floor. That's like, that's Chris Paul. the second time? Second time Oh, in his yeah, with Sean Livingston, it was probably positive too, right? Uh, or Jared Jack. It was two years before Kevin Durant got there, so Sean Livingston is on that roster. Okay. Pretty sure. Sean Livingston was a great backup PG. Man. Yeah, he or was. Was it the Barbosa? But it, it was like the when, when it, when it was, was him. Oh, Barbosa was two. It was like plus one net rating. It wasn't even nothing. Chris Paul had them kind of nice, so I'm excited to see. Him I back still to like that. Chris Paul as a starter in some places. If he played right. for the Minnesota Timberwolves, it, you could swap him and Mike Conley out of my opinion. Uh, Uncle Mike, no. he's Uncle, he's Uncle now because he's old. Uncle Mike is. I would, He's I, a bad I would man. probably keep Mike Conley. Still I'm glad they got him there. But no, hell yeah, no. I'm, if you can have I, I, I a tandem, both of them in your locker room, that would be kind of nasty. That would be. Yeah. 
Um, but I think that's – I don't want to replace Mike Conley, but, like, I think that's the type of team I would like to see Chris Paul on if he was going to start for me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Mike Conley has been hooping. Shout out to Mike. He got that extension. Yes, he did. Because he's been hooping. He and said he, he don't care about the money no more. He just want to be consistent. and He don't want to move his family. That's what's cool about these players. We're talking about it. It's just like – Chris Paul could have been a starting point guard for the Clips. The average age of like or the average duration of an NBA career was like four or five years. Mm-hmm. We're talking about players that's been in the league for fifteen plus years. Yeah. You know, I always think about that aspect of like the NBA life, like moving and like your family aspect and like traveling all. Like it just seems like it's a lot to do. A lot of times, people don't uproot their family at all. Yeah, Chris um, Paul though, when Smith he was in OKC invested in a moving company just so he didn't have to pay no more. Who? I was, just, I was about I'm, to say because he even <laughs> traded eleven I damn said. times. So I'm like, who did you say? Ish- Ishmael. Uh, where would y'all have y'all family based at? Wherever we we mm. feel the most comfortable. So here, if I was a bull and I got traded to a smaller, I get traded to OKC. I'm not especially if it's mid season too. It depends. And it's like you have and it depends on how old my kids are. Do they yeah. have friends here already? Right now in my life, my family is coming everywhere I go. Like my family. Yeah. My, my mama. Oh wow. My family, mama. My, my mama, my sister, they gonna come with wherever I go. If I got traded, we out. Hmm. I'm a family person. I love having my family around me. I get, family, I'm, I'm in a league, I get traded. Family Knicks. guy. Hey K B, we going to New York, man. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> come on. D Mills, you part of the family. We going to New York. Can't go to New York. Oh yes, you can. Phil Jackson not there anymore. We in New York. We I get part of your posse then Phil you can Jackson really see <laughs> right you can really see who really with you too because you first you get traded or drafted to a big city we in los angeles new york <laughs> then it's like hey i just got traded to oklahoma in, city yeah uh i got traded to indianapolis <laughs> 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 who coming with me they're gonna be like we might as well just go to chicago <laughs> <laughs> yeah i can drive up for the games last but not least mr lebron james three years Three. I think physically he probably time. has a lot, but mentally he may only have like two to three. There's a rumor that he's looking for that three-year nine-figure deal. That seems like the retirement plan. Yeah. It's One final tough. stretch. It's going to be tough to say when he finally uh, <laughs> leaves the game. but Because yeah. he's still going to be very good, probably still by the end of that contract. Do y'all buy the um, – I'm 50-50 on a, a farewell tour going out like Tim Duncan. Do y'all buy that at no. all? No. He'll have a farewell tour. Yeah, I think it's, whether he like it or not at this uh, point. No, no, he was saying. You remember how last year yeah. he faked like he might think about retiring. He's he's gonna get a farewell tour. He did that. He strip, deserves it. He did that with pressure on the front office. You think so? Yeah. And they ain't do nothing. <laughs> they do not win. It's the same. Wait, wait, wait. What did he do? I'm sorry. He um faked. He hinted that he might retire. But how would that put pressure on the front office? If you gonna retire, retire. <laughs> Because if if you don't do nothing, I'm gonna retire. Yeah, I can't do this no more. I'm doing all of the work. What, but at the same time, it's like to put pressure on me. Leave. Tell me you're leaving. Retiring is leaving. No, no, no. R- r- leaving is going to a different team. Retiring is like, oh shit, ain't nothing we can do. The the team, no team wants to lose LeBron James. If he retired, that means he's just old and he retiring. It's just like, look, that give us more. Sh- like, man, shit, we couldn't do what we do. He was old. It is out the door anyway. They won like 15 games a year. He left Cleveland. Same roster, minus LeBron. Yeah. <laughs> they lost every damn game. <laughs> uh, that's a good drop the mic segment. Um, I, I kind of want to get y'all gauge on the MVP race right now. There's a lot going on. It's a lot going on. Jokic had a Kinsenetta. I know you saw that. Again, it was that against the Warriors. He had a Kinsenetta. Mentions blew up. Uh, Shea Jamie, is still doing his yeah. thing. Thirty-one a night, and Giannis. Luca and company. Giannis and them are starting to look better. Where are y'all headed? It's so many candidates. Obviously, it's very fluid. It's going to change on maybe even a week-to-week basis. But how are y'all tearing things right now? I think the second half of the season is going to really determine a lot. Um, obviously, but like I think it's a close race. I don't think it's like clear cut. Just like Jokic, mm-hmm. I think Giannis is having a great case. Luca is having a great case. I was thinking about this last night about Luca. Um, Giannis won the MVP being a six seed. Luca, even though his Giannis team, did? Jokic, Jokic, Jokic. Okay, Jokic. Okay, Jokic. My right. bad. My, I say Giannis. Yeah, you good. So like, Luca's in a situation where like five through eight is so close that like even if he was like the eighth seed, he would damn near pretty much have the same record as the six seed. So like, he would still technically be just as good as those teams, but the number wise, it would say he's the eighth seed. Every okay. day that shit shifts. Mm-hmm. One day he's the fifth seed, and like I think as long as he's within. If you're in that range this year, you should still be in MVP conversations. Mm-hmm. Like I know a so lot of people are you, knock. Are you saying that in the sense that let's say 
let's say they end up five. Yeah. Is that your MVP? Is Luca your MVP at that I point? I still think he could get it being an AFC just because that race is so tight. It's, the reason I say I think he can't. <laughs> why? Because the AFC, you got to play a play in. Imagine you're the MVP and you and lose, he, you lose that <laughs> play But it's in. so close. Like, it's, they damn, they're yeah. like 10 games over I understand 500, what you're saying because I think there's always like two sides to it. It's, could be the best player on the best team, which is like they usually try to do it that or way. the most valuable. That's Tatum right now. But literally the most valuable is that team shouldn't be at the spot where it is, but this man has been so good that they are a fifth or sixth seed. Then yeah. the if, Russell if Westbrook that's your standard, mm-hmm. I honestly think all of these dudes fit that standard. I do. I you think, take Jokic yeah. off the Denver Nuggets, they're going to be trash. That's why it becomes Luka, hard. same thing. Even Shea. Like they have a good yeah. team, but when I'm Shea, looking at the Bucks. You yeah, take Giannis. Giannis off of that team, man. Well, you might get Portland Dame at that point. You might. You might. Look, you he might. wanted to bring up that boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's so interesting because you – so you mentioned the Jokic year where he was a six seed. Um, somebody brought that to my attention too. Um, and and the, the thing that I pushed back on is that there was no – when Jokic had his MVP season where he was a six seed, there was nobody in the league that was doing what Shea is doing right now. That is doing what Luca's doing right now. That is doing what Giannis. Like the MVP pool then wasn't as deep as it is now. There's also a big piece of context that people don't put in there. We also loved that year because he was missing two yes. starters. Yes. Luca at the six seed wouldn't be. Mi- that would be equivalent to Luca not having Kyrie and Derek whoever. Clyde. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> I guess yeah. And they're still hooping. You know, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, that mm-hmm. would be the equivalent. So it's like, uh, yeah, the MVP race wasn't the same, and he was missing two, the second and third best player at that time because they acquired Aaron Gordon that year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But going into the season, your second best player is Jamal Murray. Your third best player is Michael Porter Jr. You missed them for the entire year, and you still are a six seed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, you know what I mean? Like, that that was very impressive. I don't think we have anybody in the league that's doing that right now. Everybody's kind of got the guys. Yeah, you know I think Kyrie saying? and Luca have now played thirty total games together, which means that he missed about twenty five ish right now. Mm-hmm. Um, but but still, the the point still stands if you ask me. Because uh, yeah, because I'm at the go. Let me let me get this right. Let me get this right. Because I want to see if y'all can remember the starting lineup of For that, Nuggets. that that Nuggets team that Jokic brought to the to the sixth seed in the MVP season. I, I just want to make sure I get my year right. I think just I can remember a, a little bit of it. Um, just give me a second. It's taking a little while. Maybe I should get off the Wi Fi. I swear, Reggie Jackson went on that team, wasn't he? No, 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 no. not yet. Mike, he might have been on the clip. Mike, <laughs> Mike, 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 you said Mike. Yeah, that was what year? Mike, Mike, dial back. I got you. Follow my lead. I think he was on the Clippers at that time. Because once I tell you one of the starters, it was probably a lineup for you. I, I know who they I, starting I center one. was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. I know who they starting point guard was. Monte Morris. Okay, I got I got the year. Is that what you was thinking? Mm-mm. Who was you thinking they starting point guard was? Compasso. I thought, I thought it was Composite this season only started four out of 65 games. Monte Moore. Like Monte Moore started okay, 74 games. Stop playing. Hey, stop playing. Don't make me come over there and do the, the, the homer to Bart. <laughs> Damn. So Monte Will Barton. The one. Will Barton started 71 games this year. Who's the three? Um, Will Barton started 71. Will Barton is done. He's gone. They what got Aaron mean? Gordon, right? Aaron Gordon, 75 games this year. Ooh, that three. Will Barton was a leader in three point makes for a win, for a minute. For real. Jamal Murray just took it right. Who that three? Sheesh. Y'all can get there. I don't know. Y'all can get there. I, um, he black. He indeed is. That's it ain't bro- Gary Harris, right? He got traded uh, for Aaron Gordon. Never mind. No, 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 no. It's a brother. Um, older brother. Is it? Je- it's not Jeff Green. It's right? Uncle Jeff. Oh, sixty three games this season. Austin Rivers also started 18 or so. My bad. I'll be having my drink in my right hand. Jermichael Green, so on and so forth. But, yeah, uh, bad team. Really bad team. <laughs> and, indeed, they made it to the playoffs. They lost in the first round. What was Giannis' uh, starting lineup when he first won his first MVP? Ooh, that's a good question. The Albert- it's Chris Middleton, uh-huh. Drew Holiday. No. It's probably Bledsoe, right? His first MVP season. Yeah. Oh. I was just going through this. His second MVP season, he only averaged, He only played 30 minutes a night. He was just that damn dumb. Yeah, I remember that. All right, his first MVP season for Giannis. Is it Bledsoe or Drew? Bledsoe, right? Bledsoe was there, 78 games. So Bledsoe, Chris. Chris Middleton's there, 77 games. Oh, Brock Lopez. Brock is there, 64. Yeah. I think it's Brockner or Dante. Yeah. Yep. Brogdon. Tony Snell. Shout out to Tony Snell. He's on his roster. 40% oh, three-point shooter. Oh. Started 12 games. Oh, you know, okay. Some injuries had up. Ursa Ilyasova started some games. He was a killer, too. Sterling Loved Brown. Him on 2K. Chicago's finest. Yeah. They also got a young Dante DiVincenzo. Mm. A young... Uh, Trevon Duvall. 
Trayvon Duvall, yeah. Hell yeah. You know what college you went to? No. So why you say hell yeah? High school mixed Because he was on the team. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, but, you, but okay, season ended right now. MVP. Yours. Not who is the MVP, who is your MVP? Because those are two different questions. Shay. Pierre? I think I'm going Shay as well. Derek? It's Shay or Luca for me. Mm. Okay. The reason I like Make Shea the decision, though. They made the decision. Shea or Luca. I think what Shea's doing is very. I'll go Shea. Okay. I, for what it's worth, I'm I'm going uh, Jokic at the moment. I'm not mad at it. But it's been fluctuating. Like a couple weeks ago, I was telling y'all that Giannis was my number one. So it's yeah. it's all fluid. I'll ask y'all the same question in two weeks, and the answers might be different. Who knows? Giannis, Giannis might make a case towards the end of the season, man, where he's like the guy. Mm-hmm. It's, it's going to be tough. Not there, I wish B was healthy, man. It yeah, makes it a lot was easier. Like the clear cut guy. He was the guy. It yeah. was like now it, without him being out, it makes it very. That's what I just tried to say. Close. But I prefer it this I way. I can't look. wait to see the percentages of the vote because I think it's going to be the closest one yet. Um, and B, it's only first and foremost. It's only a few players who are in the ninety percentile, ninety plus percentile offensively and defensively. And B is in the ninety nine percentile on offense and defense, bro. You are seeing that right now? Without him, they're twenty fifth in offense and defense. Giannis is in the he's in yeah. He's not as high high as Shea or uh MB, but he's in a ninety he's ninety eight offensively, ninety second defensively. Shea is ninety nine offense, ninety seven defensively. That's why I like Shea for mine, because he already le- taken a lead kind of by storm and we all know about the offense, but the defense is right there too. Yeah. Shea shattering the estimated wins too. Oh yeah. I think he's oh, yeah, yeah. is he leading in EPM too? No, Jokic, I think Jokic is leading in NPM and, and Shea. Joel and B it is. Oh, I, I just discounted him. But, yeah, after that is uh, Shea, Giannis, Luka, Jokic. Oh, wow. Jokic, is, I thought he was number two. Okay. Well, shout, out to, shout out to them guys. Um, the Bucks are about to go through a gauntlet. They, they got the it. Hornets twice. Should be wins. But the Hornets are playing basketball, Hornets man. Hornets are playing. Yeah. They 5-1 yeah. since the trade. Shout out to Grant Williams. Shout out to, <laughs> shout out to fake tough guy Grant Williams. Of course, the <laughs> Draymond. Then they got the Bulls. So that should be, should be three wins. Then they go on a West Coast world trip. It's Clippers. Lakers. It's Warriors. It's Lakers. It's Clippers. It's Sacktown. That's their next five games that after Cali the trip games. always seems dreadful for they, the team. Yes. Hey, yes. that's going to prepare them for the playoffs. Yeah, they need is. that. Mm-hmm. They need it. Mm-hmm. And I guess we get to really see their true identity. Yeah, because this, this whole after, – even after that, they got 76ers. Should be a win. 76ers have been playing great. Then they got Suns. They got Boston. OKC, they got the Lakers. The rest of their season is a dog fight. And this is where we're going to figure out what team they really are. And I'm excited for it. We, we, we went to a Bobby Porter's birthday party. And yeah, Dane was like, uh, we got to talk. And I was like, I don't do the talking. Let's get dinner. Hmm. I, I feel you. I feel you on You know that. where that's from? Yeah. <laughs> you know where that's from? No. <laughs> Pat Bear Pat said. Bear said that. Oh. He was talking about how they like kind of swatched their beat. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I Mike was just going along with yeah, it. I, I, went to I thought she was really selling the story. <laughs> and I was about to be like, yeah, I remember the birthday party. I'm with Pito. <laughs> I, any, I like adversity during the regular season because it gets you prepared for the playoffs. Especially that second half. Yeah, uh-huh. And they've been a team that had a lot of question marks. I guess I guess now we get to really see, like, is this really who they are? Who who are they? And it gives Doc Rivers a time to actually, yes, sit down and coach, scheme, <laughs> plan. Like, that West Coast trip is never easy. It's been decent recently. Doc Rivers era, two back-to-back wins. Um, defenses look dramatic. Climbing up, climbing yeah. up. Starting to happen. We see him. It was more, just that three and seven start that was shaky. We're seeing more Damian Lillard and Giannis actions. It's not necessarily pick and rolls, but they're mm-hmm. in the actions together a lot more. So I have been seeing the pick and rolls though. It, yeah, they definitely been doing it. I, I've watched. Um, it was a YouTube video of somebody that accumulated all of the pick and rolls of Giannis and Dame mm-hmm. in the Doc Rivers era so far. And my takeaway from that is Giannis is not a very good screener. You know what, bro? He was saying in that article I brought up last podcast, he's like, I understand that people want to see me and Damon like more actions, but it's got to be organic. Like, it can't be just here's the ball. Let me come run this screen and roll. Like, it's not going to work for us. I feel like that also is very, it can be like that simple. I thought it, it okay too. Yeah, it I thought it be, could honestly. too. They're too dominant. Uh, but I like, you compare his screen setting to like Brooke Lopez on the same rock. Like, Brooke Lopez is making contact every time. I don't think times. that's fair. Why not? Because I think Brooke Lopez has had the role of being a screener for 
his um, existence of a basketball player. Giannis, this is probably something new for Giannis. Giannis is used to having a ball. Screening is a lot harder than people it, at it, the pro bro, level. It's a lot harder than people think. One of the most underrated aspects, I think, a really good screener can get you. That's why oh, you yeah. think Kevon Looney could be a job. Obviously, Steph, he hustled, Steven but Adams. those screens, Steven Adams. it's Steven not Adams. many people yeah. that set screens like Kevon Looney and, and Draymond when you, Green over there. When your job is so much more broader than just being a screen setter, it can get exhausting. Yeah. He's trying to get the ball. He's trying to go downhill. He just exert energy, and then he kick it out the ball, go, and now he got to come run up and set the screen <laughs> versus like a Brooke Lopez, Steven Adams. That's all they're going to do. They're never <laughs> trying to do any shit Giannis is doing. So their energy is boom, boom. They've been doing it for years. They got the technique. They know how to do it. I'm going off experience, too. I was a time where I was playing, um, and I got called up, and Coach Doran wanted me to do some shit that Brock was doing. I couldn't screen. I didn't know how to screen. I was getting offensive fouls because I'm doing this. It like, man, you got to do oh, this yeah. shit. Like, I'm not, but I'm not as big as, you know what I'm saying? This yeah. is high school. I'm probably like 6'2". He's 6'6". Six, six. They tell me, dude, I'm not big and wide like dude, so I'm <laughs> putting out elbows and shit. They like, man, that's an offensive foul. <laughs> I don't know how to screen like that. Well, I ain't Rudy no screener. Bear. Rio Bears. Screen assist numbers used to be crazy. You know, he used to lead I the swear Rudy does that. He throw the balls out for the screen. I don't like people who do that. Watch your mouth. That's what you do? Oh, you talking about Rudy. I'm used to coming off screen. I'm 5'6". Five, five, huh? They can well, through, through that screen. They can through that screen. Mm-mm. <laughs> I don't like them bows out there. You get somebody hurt. You know who's leading the league in screen assist now? Who? Guess. Jer- Jared Allen? Nope. Talking about them bows. I, I think I was talking to you about it with Alperin Shingoon. <laughs> I know it's a little <laughs> off topic. <laughs> it's fine. No, go ahead. Do your thing. It, it's off topic, but it, it's like so. It's a basketball Goon, pocket. <laughs> when he does the drop step, you clear out with that elbow. Is y'all looking at that as like offensive foul? It depends, it depends on, where, on it where it hits them. Yeah, it depends on where they hit them. Because if you're doing it and you get around your defender, that's clean. But yeah. if you're doing this and it's in their chest, oh, okay. that's an offensive foul. I'm thinking yeah. you're yeah. talking about just when he does that. Yeah. Yeah. my brother Lashawn used to do that to me. When <laughs> I was just, just when I was the way. it would just he would do it so hard like. <laughs> but he wouldn't hit me in my chair. It would just, hit, it would just move. Yeah. And I'd be like, bro, that shit is so lame. Like, <laughs> he bad. if you don't ice, ISO face up, all yeah. of that post up shit. It's Demontis Sabonis. Oh, makes, makes sense. sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. Right? Perfect sense. Uh, One of the best screens in the league. Before we get to the bulk of this episode, let's hear from our sponsor. Why should you bet with Caesar Sportsbook? Two words, Caesar's rewards. Every bet brings you closer to the type of benefits only Caesars can offer. Hotel stays, VIP experiences, sports and concert tickets, and more. It's not just an app, it's an empire. Welcome back in, welcome back in. Today's episode was you brought to that, us. man, give me something with some flavor. What you talking about? I said, if you doing, if he doing that, give me something with some flavor. Oh, uh, going out? Yeah. Do your thing. Do your thing. Um, Pierre brought to us the idea of trying to not predict necessarily, mm-hmm. but kind of live five years in the future. I got this idea from playing 2K. <laughs> <laughs> you play 2K and you kind of create your own universe. And um, blind is shout out, but Click does this really, really well. Mm-hmm. KB, you told me you did it before. I've never done it my damn self, but I just feel like when you simulate, because I like to actually play, but yeah. when you just take a time out and just be like, man, I'm going to just simulate 10 years. We all four of us can do a, a video where we all start our own league and just simulate 10 years, and it's all going to have so many different outcomes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And sometimes you sit back and you're just like, where would the league be? And then the LeBron stuff came out with uh, the three-year deal, him won a three-year deal. And I'm like, man, is that going to be it? Like, that's where my mind yeah. go. Is, like, that his, is that, that his, his last contract? Yeah. yeah. And then I, that made me think, like, where would the league be? And I keep seeing Jason Tatum come up a lot. Yes. They're talking about Jason. Draymond was saying Jason Tatum would, won't get respected until he get the ring. Um, Someone else said that he was ready to – that he wants to be the face of the league, that he's ready for that responsibility. Yeah. Wasn't I think it was RJ. Maybe it was RJ. I can't remember exactly who said it. Mm. And uh well he just did a sit down with uh did he sit down with Malika Andrews? Tayson Tay. He sat down yeah. with somebody. Yeah, because he, he was saying to himself, like yeah, he ready to yeah, do he did. And then on and then on top of that, Wimby. Mm. Yeah. I, I said it on here and I said it on my own, uh the Helio Century, like his next year is gonna be his third year. So mm-hmm. then it made me think about like where's Wimby gonna be five years from now? Mm-hmm. And um, we can do this two different ways. Uh-huh. We can start from five years and work our way back on what happened, or we can go from here. I think we should just and go mush from here. up. Okay. 
I think we got to do step by step because I don't think we could just jump straight to five years and then come back. So that just sounds hard. The end of the 2000, this is a 2024 year or is this 2023? 24. 2023, 2024. 20, yeah. So, you so, so, this, so how did, yeah, I never know how to gauge that. If it's 2023, is it two, but 2024? It's where it starts and where it ends. Yeah. But which one is the year we call this? 2024. Okay. Um, duh. Who was the MVP of 2024? Shea Gilders Alexander. We all in line with that? Yep. I, I can agree with that. Okay. Who was the champion? Now, now this is where it gets a little tough. This, Boston I, it's, where I, it's where I think Los Boston Angeles takes it this year. Let's yeah. So Tay don't get his ring? I think he does. I, let's go Clippers for me. Mm. Why Why you pick Clippers over the Celtics? Wait, who, who are the Clippers playing? Are they at least playing Boston? I believe so. I, that would be Boston my dream playing? finals. Michael. Boston's playing Denver. They're playing Denver? Mm. Denver's Denver or they're playing Denver. They're playing Denver. Wow. And you, you got. I got Clippers Celtics. Mm. I, I, I think it would be fun to see the two. No, 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 no. This is the difference. Yeah. Not what you think will be fun. It's what <laughs> no, you no. think is going to happen. I, that's what I think is going to happen. Okay. 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 Yeah, I, went, I was saying Clippers or, or Nuggets, but I was like, they ain't finna hang with Jokic. They, They've been struggling they to beat the top four teams. Small sample size, obviously, but I think they're like one in seven against the top four. That's teams. what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make sure that I don't go with what I think or what I want. Obviously, I want the Clippers to make it because you know Paul George. Shout out boy. to the rebrand. Um, I saw you made a video on that. What did Hell you say? Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, it I is. made a ten minute video, and the answer was it's okay. It Ad is. revenue, baby. I love the fact that they kept they stayed on base with the colors, though. I mm -hmm. hate when people change it up and try to change. Remember when the Hornets did that with the Bobcats? Yeah. But now I miss that Bobcats little colorway. But um, those are just the owner's favorite colors, by the way. For the Bobcats? Mm -hmm. It's a whole video about it. I think it's by, uh, God damn. It used to be SB, SB Nation. What, what's the name of that channel Secret now? Base? Secret Base. Boom. Secret, Secret Base, Base has a whole documentary about that. Um, finals. Mm -hmm. The NBA Finals. Yeah. So right now the one C is... The Timberwolves? The Timberwolves are the one seed at the moment. Okay, see, it's two. Uh, Third is the tied. Clippers. Are they tied? Fourth yeah, but I think Nuggets. that they have the tiebreaker. So, right, yeah, right now it's Minnesota, OKC, Denver, then Cl uh, Clippers is the one, two, three, four. But they have the same record, but Minnesota has a tiebreaker at this moment okay. in time, so they have to win. Can seat. Golden State do it? Can Golden State put together a run? Sure. They I've could, been trying but. to convince myself that Golden State could have a chance. Draymond, I like what Draymond Green said. He said um, there's no team out there in the West that I feel like we can't beat. They can't beat, they can't beat the Denver Nuggets. In a, oh, in a seven game series, he just got his head. They, they just they, they have they have no answer yeah, for, they, they for Jokic. That. They cannot win that series. So I'm a case go. KCP versus Steph Curry was so fun to watch. He held Steph Curry to from one, one to ten. one of eight when the primary defender was KCP. Who was the other two? Shout misses? out KCP. Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna go. I'm y'all convincing me in the Nuggets right now. The Timberwolves and OKC. I they, I never had them in the picture just because they're so young. Mm -hmm. Um. And I think it's going to be so tough at that bottom. They, they, they might get unfairly matched up with some dogs. You mm -hmm. you could get your ass. They might get matched up with the Kings. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, the, and OKC, their, their, their lack of rebounding, I don't think they want to see the Kings in the first round. No, I, I like it's this. Bonus the West them. is straight dogs out there. Like, one through ten, I know teams have had, like, they've had a little bit of rough season, rough patches on the season and everything. Not as, like, good as record. But from one through ten, there's some dogs out there in it terms really of, like, is. a team. Them top teams, they have some. They have to look out. And I know we've seen it in the past. I don't think it's going to happen this year where teams are like, I'd rather take this team. I'd rather go against the For Kings sure. than I'll go against the Lakers or whatever sure. team it is. I think it might happen out east. I think the Heat at the mm -hmm. bottom would much rather match up with the Cavs and the Celtics. Yeah. yeah. I, just, I, got the, I got the Celtics winning the championship. I'm not against But that. who did y'all have? Celtics. Jason Tatum finals so MVP. We picking this together, so, so we what? trumping your ass. Yep. I'll go Celtics. I'm not Finals MVP that. is Jason Tatum. Indeed. Yep. Finals MVP is Jason Tatum. Rookie, you got it, baby. Our rookie of the year is Wimpy. Victor Wimpy. Wimpyama. It's no, no if fans or bust about it. Who gets fired? Any coaches that's getting fired? Steve Clifford will not be the coach, even though they're playing I agree good with basketball. That. Yeah. Um, they're going to have a new coach for the Brooklyn Nets. Yes. Uh, hopefully it's a first-timer. I would hope so. Charles Lee or something. Something like that. And The Bulls still got Billy Donovan? I think yes. they do. I think they keep Billy Donovan around. Steve Kerr got extension. Yep. Um, I don't know if there's any other coaches that should be on the hot seat. Yeah, I think Steve Unless you're thinking like, Monty Williams, but he got so much money that they'll probably – My dad asked me yesterday. I do think Monty Williams is going to fire. I don't think so. I think firing a coach when your team is supposed 
Like, that team, I know it was really bad. There was supposed to be some sort of progression, but realistically, they were going to suck regardless. Yeah. Not that bad. 28 games. With, hey, we, we, you want to pull up projections of what people thought? That's, the thing bro, 27, you, 27 that's like the half. second or third pod I heard P bring up 28 games in a row. That's them, a, that's their staple for this season. That's the first thing you think about. 28 think games. The, the, the 28 and I'm going to say this. Straight. I don't know Monty Williams personally. I only know him through sources because he coached yeah. Javon. Javon speaks highly of him. I think Monty Williams. This gonna sound crazy. I don't. I, I don't think he'd be mad if he was fired. I don't think he wanted to coach. He was. Yes, really, that, he was that, really exactly. He said he was. Done I for think a while. he didn't want. He wanted to take a break. They sent him the first one. He said, "I'm good. I'm taking a break." Then they came back with the offer that you can't refuse, mm -hmm. and he signed it. And I bet the first day or the first week, he said, "Why the hell did I follow my gut?" <laughs> Why the hell did I, I follow that check my gut? Nice though. And so now, if he did get fired, he still keep his bag. He can go take his rest. And he getting paid from the Suns and the Pistons. And the Pistons. And then when he do, you take a two or three year hiatus. You come back as an assistant coach on the good team because he's well respected, well connected around the league. Like do the Mike Brown route where you go be an assistant for the Warriors, win some games, and then the new job open up and boom, you back in the swing of things. That coaching thing is crazy. You the coaching carousel. Like, you can get paid from two or three different teams at once. Players do the same <laughs> thing, though. Yeah. Oh, the Wi-Fi in this motherfucker. That's so. what I was saying. Yeah, there's some players that are, yeah, still getting paid. You ain't seen them play basketball in a very long time. Now, I, I, remember, was still getting I remember when we went through that. And I remember when, like, Luol Deng was still on the Lakers payroll for a while. <laughs> yeah. And we was like, what? Yeah, you stretched like, that contract. Or, like, we was looking at the Pistons. They had some people in there that we was like, they still paying them? I mean, yeah, like that Josh was like John Smith. Lord, Josh yeah. Smith. Yeah, it was like Josh Smith is still on the Pistons payroll. Now we got a tough thing to do. Okay. Ryan Atchiakno is on their payroll right now. Who? Uh, the Pistons. Oh, Why? Who? I don't remember. I don't know. This is going to be the toughest part. Tyrese Maxey, we know he's going to sign with the Philadelphia 76 is restricted. Yep. What is Paul George doing? Is Paul, Paul George, George going to be with the Clippers. Okay. I'm pretty sure. That sounds about right, bro. I swear we always get the free agency test, and it's like we're just going to resign right back. <laughs> the yeah. big reason is Steve Ballmer's going to give him money he can't, that he's not going to get some, from somewhere else because they're getting that new arena. They want to put asses in those seats. You don't, think Philly, would, you don't think Philly can come with that bag for Paul George? Not because your team that already has you can always pay you more. Steve Ballmer's going to pay more. And what if it is he paying more how, or is he able to give him an extra year? That's a big difference. He just giving him. He just has the ability to give him an extra year. I think probably gonna give him the next year. I think they can give him five. I think the open market can probably just give him up to four. I, I, I think. Um, Pascal Siakam he's gonna resign with resigning. The yeah, you like the way that marriage going. Mm -hmm. yeah. LeBron James resigning. Yeah, whatever he asked for, it's there. OG Ananobi is resigning. James Harden resigning. I'm resigning. Demar Derozan. He's where would Demar Derozan be? Just definitely won't be in Chicago. Uh, I can't, I can't even say, say definitely. I can't, I can't say, yeah. say that yet. I can't because they are trying to still re-sign him. Yeah, I can't. I can't say it, man. I, I just want to say what teams are Wait, interested. Yeah, I know the Mavs had talked about it. Early, like he was one of the person uh, people they were interested in. I don't know if that's still the case or anymore. Uh, yeah. Anymore. It's the gonna problem, be tough. Though. I mean, the Bulls offered him a contract. He did not think it was enough money. So if he's leaving, it would have to be to like a Detroit Pistons, a OKC Thunder, because they have money. I don't think the Pistons want to use that money on DeMar DeRozan. And I, I, could, be, I could be wrong, though, because... Maybe the Thunder don't either. I'm sure the Thunder don't either, because they, they like not. spacing. Yeah, so... They I got the he, best lineup with Isaiah Joe. He's going to be a bull. No, he's not. Thank you for, for giving me... Clay that. Thompson! Do, do, do. He is a Orlando Magic. Ooh. Orlando Magic. He's going to be... Magic. I think he's going to be in one of the four teams. Miami, too. Think that could be a team that how? could be What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> what do you mean how? How? Why how you just say Florida, him? though? Why you just say Florida? All the teams in the league, and you just say he's just Florida? No. I'm just saying. He's probably going to end up on, a, on one of them. Or... <laughs> Let's see. What you that? said that like he's been linked to Florida. So, like, that's <laughs> nah. his vacation spot or something. He be in San Fran, nice weather. I'm just saying. Okay. Maybe okay. Maybe okay. That, that, that makes more sense nice. than you just saying Florida. Yeah. You know he like to ride his um. He does the the, the boat, the, yeah. boats in the ocean. Got to stay. He got to stay near some water. What if Philly go for Clay? They say, "Fuck, we need more shooting." They ain't got no. They ain't got no water. Yeah. No bodies of water for him. To, it's too cold. They don't. They got a river over there. But it's gonna be they cold. They got a river. It's gonna be froze. Would you rather be in a river or a nice ocean? But they got the Hudson River. Would you rather be winning or lose? They got the Hudson. <laughs> is the Hudson River over there? The Hudson River's in New York. I don't know if that's. I don't know if that connects to Philly. It, oh, okay. And there's no way that like the Warriors are 
giving him a max again. Like there, it's going to be some type of pay cut if I another think, team offers him that that money. I, I would assume he takes it. I think realistically, he resigns with the Warriors on the same time as Steph Curry's contract, and mm-hmm. then with Steve Kerr's new extension, yeah. it's all the same timeline. Because also with those new comments from him saying he needs to buy into his role, and he seems more comfortable with like mm-hmm. coming off the bench and stuff. So he should have been coming off the bench. He's been playing good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Nick Claxon. I saw He's John Morant like a tweet. I did see that too. I, I'm like, oh, like snap. Like that. Y'all I got like the money that. for that? Yeah. Oh. Some fan was like, man, Nick Clax would be perfect with the Grizzlies. John Moran said, like. <laughs> it was like he's such an underrated player. He, he can is. defend. Yeah. He can finish. I would love him on OKC, too. OKC Let would play be the nice. Oh, that, that would, would be nice. How do, as the Nets, how do you allow yourself to be in this position? To where he he's not a restricted. How is he unrestricted? Yeah, I don't yeah. even understand how he is unrestricted. Because he, he was a second-round pick? Shit, I don't know. How is he unrestricted? Second-round picks are unrestricted. Yeah, it they, is kind of crazy. I don't know if they're unrestricted, but I know their contracts aren't the same. It's, yeah, as it's de- first definitely round different. Picks. But I don't know how they allowed them to. I don't know if they didn't come to an agreement. I don't know. I don't know. I like one of those two teams, though Memphis, OKC. Bro, don't say that. OKC? OKC would be nasty. OKC? Yeah, that defense would be ridiculous. Yeah. Um, I don't think there's anybody else in these free agency class that's worth yeah. ret- Buddy Hill. He's going to f- stay in Philly. Yeah, I yeah, think I, I don't know. I, him Somewhere. in Orlando would be nice. That is crazy that that clip came up of you talking about Buddy Hill. From years ago, yes, being in Philly. Being in Philly. Yeah. That was crazy. I, I know the future, boy. <laughs> you want to know what's going to happen with you? What's Wait, up? You want to know? Yeah. You finna get something to eat after this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you made a big mistake wearing that bright shirt, that white shirt. I don't know. I can't tell. Is this cream or white? Why? I can't tell. It's the, cream. It's okay, cream. okay. Me and KB both got on a cream. It's subtle cream. Y'all cream team. Yes, we are. Cream team, baby. That's why we that's why we in the situation. Come on, right now. That's yeah, why we in the situation. It's a good situation. He good is situation. crazy. <laughs> he is crazy. That's not even true. Uh, I'm more of a you digger than you. <laughs> <laughs> uh you just don't, you know what I'm saying? You a little weak. But you're gonna get a stain on that shirt. Probably. By the end of the day. <laughs> it's gonna be Tabasco sauce. You going to Chick? You going to Chipotle? Some big beef juice. Some. Damn, that's the type of mood you in. No, nah, I'm not. Well, you he not even got. He don't even got the big beef. He just got it in a uh, cup Italian <laughs> beef juice. That's, if uh, I'm ever doing that, y'all need to get me help immediately. <laughs> All right. So now the year 2025. At the league is based based on y'all. It's pretty much the same. There's <laughs> nobody left to free. Oh no, 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 no. Well, we no. Trey Young we requested yeah, trade. Young. Okay, okay, okay. Where's Trey Young going? Uh, Lakers or Spurs? We ain't we ain't doing all that. It's either Lakers or Spurs. <laughs> got to uh, be the Spurs. They got more assets. They yeah. do. If I'm yeah. the Hawks and I'm trading Trey Young and just you know what a big thing I'm watching. And I wanted to bring it up at the top of the show, but you brought up the MVP race. These injuries are piling up to our stars. They're taking away our guys. But Dejounte at the helm while Trey is out for these talk next four to five him. weeks can be a big thing, yes. man. The talk Hawks to him. could say, "Hey, we like what we saw. We can get more value for Trey Young. Boom, Spurs, give us a bunch of them draft picks. But give us Keldon the, Johnson. The Spurs have always been a team that doesn't like to trade their draft picks." But the Spurs have not had no Victor Wimbiama since they got Tim Duncan way long ago. They're not in a rebuild. In my opinion, when you got Vic, you're not in a rebuild. He should make you want to speed it up. Yeah, I would say watching him make you think, what if we had a real NBA roster around this yes. dude to actually <laughs> yes. like win games? We like, can we make the? Can we get to the playoffs? If Atlanta can we make wants this year's first round pick, are you giving it up? Oh, this year's first round it pick depends. might be one, two, or three. Yeah, oh, that's a good question. Because Atlanta might. They might say, if you want Trey Young, we want this year's Yes. Mm. Yes. Because that's going to be the most valuable I am. pick. I am. Now what? <laughs> I'm not mad at it. I mean, she, I don't know you got to think. I, I'm, I'm telling this, you right now. You I, know know you, I don't know the draft class that well to be able to say yes. The reason no. I'm saying you yes do. is irrelevant to the draft class. You know okay. why? Wow. Because, I, like I just said, we're not rebuilding. If we were rebuilding, then mm-hmm. I want my pick. I'm giving up that pick. What, what are we going to take? Nikola Topich? He's good, exactly. but we're going to have to wait. We got to wait and send out. I want to know. I know what I'm getting. I'm getting a dude that can lead the league and assist, and I'm putting him with a unicorn, and I'm keeping Devin Vassell, and we're filling out the rest with defense. I, man, listen. I'm, I'm get, spending that first round. I'm getting a pick. I'm, yeah, I'm getting a basically like a, a, yes. a four or five here already in first round pick, basically, and putting him next to Vic. So I can't even be mad at that, that I'm giving away a pick. And I'm, get, and I'm giving up Kelvin Johnson's contract. <laughs> in the midst of all of that. 
Not saying it's a bad contract, yeah. but we we want to we want to open this thing wide, mm-hmm. way wide, and we want to have Trey Young, Devin Vassell, Victor Wimbiyama, and we want to be able to fill these slots with defense and three point shooting and three point shooting. You Not see, you that. see them slots. I'm filling yeah. them. It's That'd like a, a, it's like be, a it's like a vending machine. That would be I'm the putting the Pepsi's in there for the San Antonio Spurs. Just don't know if you're gonna always have a perfect off season. No, it won't be perfect because yeah. you're not gonna get you're not gonna fill them slots perfectly. No. You're gonna fill them slots with some shit that's h- hanky danky. But I think you gotta Jay Crowder. I think you gotta take some of that youthfulness and I think you gotta remove it. Yeah. I don't think your depth chart can no longer be Trey Jones, Blake Wesley, uh <laughs> Jeremy Sohan. Uh what's if the other guy? Malachi is Branham. Nineteen, twenty years old, and we believe in him. Put some veterans around him. We don't need him just be like, he's also got to lead another bunch of 18, 19-year-olds. We trade for Trey Young. We give you this year's first overall, first not first overall, first round pick. It could be first overall. Is it, If it's first overall, do you still do it? Hell yeah. I would do it. The re, this is my argument. I'm still trying to figure out if I would do the first. Let's say it's yeah. third pick. I'm still trying to figure this out if I would do This is what I'm doing. It. I'm telling them, I give you this pick, and I'm giving you one more. Because I'm giving you this pick, you're not getting three first round picks. Yeah. Understand that. This this pick is valuable. You're not getting that. Two K would have that like four number, stars. You have a guaranteed number one overall pick that coming your way. So I, I could see the value in that. You feel me? I'm not, we're not doing that. Yeah, yeah. We're not doing that. If yeah. you want this pick, we're not doing that. Now, if we can keep this pick, then you can have you three. can get three. Yeah. You might I'll give you four. <laughs> I'll give you four. <laughs> so if, if the price is let's temper the expectations. Third overall pick. Mm-hmm. Keldon Johnson, bro, third overall pick. I'm, 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 I'm walking him to the stage for you <laughs> in this draft. Third overall pick, and Atlanta say we want. Just give us our picks back. No, no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> our picks. You said with a plural. Both of them. No, 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 no. We don't have a deal with the first round. We or don't two? have a deal. You're getting a third overall pick. Yeah, in a shitty draft. But no, this draft ain't shit. The reason this draft is shitty is because there is no quote unquote star. That's why the third overall pick don't matter. You but if you, but if you're retooling Atlanta, this is a perfect draft for you. You're not rebuilding. You're retooling. You have Dejounte, Jalen Johnson, uh, Clint Capella, Kongwu. Uh, I don't. I'm guessing you're bringing back Sadiq Bay. Am I forgetting anybody? You still have DeAndre Hunter. Bobo. I'm trying to make sure I'm thinking about the real Hawks and not my yeah. series. And so you draft. You get the third pick. and You can get Zachary Richardson. You decent. You get the third, second pick, and you can get Alex Sar. They I aight. I don't know, man. You I, aight. I'm still, I don't know. I'm on the fence about it. On, from what side? From the Spurs. the Spurs. Because I, the, the Spurs, I, I just feel like with their top pick, they have to go. They don't have to because they have multiple picks in the first round. But one of these picks is going to have to be Topich. Because, I mean, you have Alex Sar. That's cool. But like Alex R is the same as is is Vic in a sense of I don't know if he's a four or five. So what you gonna do there? Yeah. You could bring in Zachary Richardson. Um he's a he's he's gonna be like a Clay Thompson. But that still doesn't give you the guard. You get Trey Young. Trey Young is uh offense by himself. In a, in in a sense, you know, and you're paying able to do and it's like I, all I think we about see is what he the, does with Clint. And K B, you're still gonna have yeah. another pick. You still like, like let's look at a let's look at a let's go to a mock draft real quick, and I just want to see the two picks that the Spurs have where they projected just just by off right is now. It like a, is it Atlanta's pick, the uh, second pick that we're talking about? I'm it may sure. be, but what what were you just saying is before it, that? If Atlanta, if oh, it's I was, Atlanta, I was saying that we see what um, Trey Young's doing with Clint Capella. It will be crazy to see that with a talent like Vic. So based off. This the thing I'm on. They have the Spurs with the third pick and a seventh pick. Oh wow! From who? How did they get in the seventh pick too? It ha- it ha- let's see. It has to be Atlanta, right? It'll tell me when I click on this pick. Because it's not the Bulls pick that they owe. Se- seventh pick would be one of the teams that's yeah yeah. Atlanta seems to don't seem like no because they they're showing they're showing Atlanta. That's seventh overall pick. Spurs. Seventh overall pick would be. One, two, three, four, five. So oh this my God, 
It's from the Raptors, from the Yaka Pertle trade. Boom. Oh. So that, I think that pick is top six protected. So the Spurs this year are going to have three. They have Toronto. It's protected one through six. One through six. They have Charlotte's, which the is Raptors been playing good basketball, so they might lose that pick completely. Just yeah, because they're they're gonna they're winning games. Um, they have Charlotte's pick protected one through fourteen. Obviously, that won't convert this year, and then they have their own. The Hawks pick ain't until two thousand twenty five, which has no protections. So, oh, can man. I convince you to take the Raptors pick? Let's say it falls to seven or eight, and I'll give you your two first rounders back in Keldon Johnson, and so I get I to guess, keep my own. Yeah. Oh, right, I'm doing it. So, uh, so you're Atlanta. I just, I just want to keep that top four pick at, by any means. You're I'm Atlanta, Spurs. and I'm Spurs. Mm-hmm. Or I'm no, awesome. you're Spurs. I'm I'll Atlanta. take Spurs. Yeah. So yeah. you're telling me what again? He's giving you the number seven pick. The wait, pick wait. Start the, with the player. You giving me Keldon. Keldon. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Toronto's this, pick. The Toronto pick, and then the two first round picks you gave me in the Dejounte Murray trade. You get them back. So was that three first and Keldon? Three first and Come Kilden. on, give me that. Does um because now I have make the money match. Does Kelton make enough money to the, match the Spurs? The Spurs got don't money. have a bunch of money, so they on can their bring books. on more than they. But sign me up for that, because then if I'm the Hawks, I get a I get a top ten pick. I might have a top ten pick too, because the the shit that I'm on says that the 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 Hawks are going to be drafting at nine or is that eight? No, they're <laughs> at ten. The Hawks' own pick is ten. Mm-hmm. So I would get a top ten pick from y'all this in 2024, my own top ten pick, and then I get my own picks back. Sign me up for that shit, man. And so now I'm coming into the year with and this two is top all, ten this picks. A new, this a new Hall of whole players new, in here. Whole new shit. Clint Capella, you get your ass. In I the was block. thinking that too. I was like, bro, we can we can move Clint Capella too. Dejounte, I know we traded Trey. Yo, you probably not safe either. I wouldn't because we might that. draft Rob Dillingham, Reed Shepard. We got Jalen Johnson. No, I'm just playing. Dejounte, you stand. Look, you trying to you trying to do that to my boy? Hey, I don't do that. Go get more draft picks. Somebody else will get you too. Where's two Brandon Ingram getting traded in this offseason? Come on, let's talk about it. Brandon Ingram. I think Brandon Ingram's staying. Mm. So where's Zion? Going? But that's no fun. Where's Zion going? No, where's Zion going? <laughs> oh, I didn't have a place for Zion. I was just thinking that they would just stay pat. They playing good basketball. Brandon Ingram is going to be on the last year of his deal next Anytime year. Anytime you lose to the Bulls, you're not playing good basketball. Could that be a place? No, nah, I don't mm-hmm. want to see him with the Bulls. Mm-hmm. They, they do a sign and trade with DeMar. Oh, I do it in 100% of the time, but they not. What the hell they do that? <laughs> they already got some bad spacing with Z and, and Val. Now you add DeMar to the mix. It's gonna be tough. tough. He be kicking it out uh, for a mid-range catch and shoot <laughs> like it's the eighties. No, Brandon Ingram's probably staying. Cleveland, He's probably staying. Darius Garland. I, I'm, that, I'm, I'm I was looking at teams like trade. I'm not against that. It trade. teams that would like potentially want Brandon Ingram and just want that next step. Could Houston be a team like that? Jalen Green, but that don't make sense. For it don't make sense for the Pelicans, but I could see him fitting with the Rockets. They got some extra draft picks. Take some Nets draft picks. We don't care about them no more. So, boom, Trey Young is a spur. We fast forward to 2025. Are the Celtics back to back champions? Oh, I mean, they bring back the entire core. Yep. Um, we haven't had a back to back in a while. So that's why I'm like, ah. Because um, they would have to capitalize on that because then money wise, it becomes tricky for them after that season. Yeah. Um, so, this is the, this Derek White's market is going to be crazy. Um, it's going to be hard for them to bring them back. Mm-hmm. At least I would imagine. Unless they somehow, I don't know what they have a lot to do. They have yeah. a lot to figure out in the next. Yeah, Assuming so so. all health, I kind of like the Philly team with Joel, be, Joel and B back. Tyrese Maxey obviously doing what he does now, mm. and then they also they're gonna pick somebody up. Like they're not gonna just keep this roster going to the next year. Or the Bucks can improve their roster. They just somehow. need a little. De- I feel like yeah. if they had an actual stopper, I know the defense is getting better, but if they had somebody who can actually, that's our guy that's gonna play. Caruso. They need something like that. Who? The Bucks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do they do repeat? Uh, I don't, I, think, I don't so. think they repeat. No. Did, wait, did Nicholas Claxton go to OKC? He went to Memphis. Ah, he went to Memphis. <laughs> Memphis? No, no, no. He team? went to OKC because Memphis has a top pick and they drafted Alex R. Okay. Then OK, OKC is looking pretty damn good now. Another year of Shea, another year of J-Dub, another year of Chat, year two of an NBA career. You convincing me. Center. You convincing me. I, I, I'm, you convincing and they got me. Gordon Hayward. You convincing and, and, and me. And last year they had a conference finals run, so now you convincing experience. me. 
And at the deadline, they traded for Alex Caruso. Oh, and they added Minnesota Brandon Ingram, make- and he wanted to buy it. <laughs> Anthony Edwards and his superstardom. And, and and they added and they and LeBron said he want to go over there. <laughs> <laughs> and Kevin Durant want to return for a farewell. Sign me up for a Boston Celtics repeat. I'm going OKC. I'm not doing a repeat. No, I, I really don't want to do OKC either, but I like their chance. They got. I'm Nicholas just not doing Claxton. no. I'm just not doing no Boston repeat. Damn, That's two years to get Boston. Cause the face it, of the league is on the team now. He a, he a Laker fan. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. It's already well, maybe see a little bit. Kind of assume in two years. Well, like, the Lakers ain't help for the playoffs in, in, play, in the in the <laughs> postseason. <laughs> That'd um, be crazy. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. OKC for it. Who you got? Boston. No. Um, you said Minnesota. Minnesota could be a team. We got the Nuggets, Clippers. I will go Clippers. You really want the Clippers <laughs> to get them a championship? Does da- I ain't mad at Does it, Dallas ever get there? Well, let's see. Uh, they damn sure ain't there in 2025. Les Luke is literally on some James Harden MVP type stuff. Who wins He's MVP doing that right in 2025? Yeah, doing right MVP happened? in 2025 is um Is that Luka Luka Dodgers? Dodgers? It's, Jason be. T- it's Jason Tatum's year. He got the championship. Now people respect him. <laughs> <laughs> Give me Luka. If that happened, then Draymond Green just looked like a genius. <laughs> For real. For real. Luke, it's Luka's MVP time. He he's gonna have to win multiple in his career. He's got zero right now. He's gonna continue. This it's Luca's year. Go with Luca. Give me Jalen Bronson. He shocks the world. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> I, was go. I was literally thinking about him. I was like, nah. We could go Luca. You crazy. Um 2025 rookie of the year is You're gonna have to help us on that. Yeah. Cody Williams. J Dub little brother. He do be hooping. Yeah, I heard about him. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Whoever get the you most sound like a, He sounded like an old head when you said that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I did hear about it. I literally, when we was in Utah. Yeah, that's true. We, oh, no, we was in we Denver. Was in, we was Denver, in Denver, Denver. Denver. 2025 free agency, y'all. Y'all ready? Mm-hmm. Yep. LeBron, he signed a three-year deal last year, so he's not in here. Jimmy Butler. Resigning. He's resigning. Yeah, he's a, he's he, I think he's he a, has a player option. He'll probably 50 accept million. 52. Yeah, 50 yeah. million. Oh, hell yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. What a Tibbs recruit him. If Tibbs <laughs> convinces him to turn out fifty million dollars, this is one hell of a bi- one hell of a man. B- build him a statue. He doing some other stuff. That'd be cool. <laughs> what you doing that for? I just said he could be giving him money under the table. Here goes some of my contract. Like Joe Smith. Feel me? Wait, what happened with Joe Smith? Joe Smith signed a deal um, with the Timberwolves. I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah. That was well below market, and the league was like, "What the hell is this?" Found out that the Timberwolves was giving him money under the table, and the league took like three first round picks from them for that. Damn, Damn. Wow. For fucking Joe I Smith. never knew that. Joe, Joe Smith, Smith definitely signed with the Timberwolves to go with T Man. I mean, uh, KG. Um, Fred Van Vliet club option, $44 million. He's taking that money. Yeah, yeah. No, it's a looking. club option. It's a team oh, option. oh. They're declining that, but they're <laughs> yes. renegotiating the Okay. They're renegotiating. Rudy Gobert, player option, $46 million. Mm-hmm. Taking the money. Taking $46 million. It. Kyrie Irving, player option, $43 million. Taking, taking the money. It. Ben Simmons is finally off of that contract and is an unrestricted free agent. He's going to be somewhere making like 15 mil. Beijing. <laughs> oh, my God. Bro, did have you, you watch, watch, have you He's going to be playing with Eric Bledsoe? Yeah. Every day I get an underdog fantasy thing saying, Ben Simmons' leg, locker room. <laughs> ben Simmons' hand. Did y'all see that clip? Uh, it was with Shaq and um, I can't think of his name right now. But Spice he's like, Adams? Nah, he's like, Shaq. You won't believe what I just heard. Who was just asking about you? Oh, that was Chuck. That wasn't Chuck. No, Chuck it? used this joke against Draymond, Draymond Green. Green. It wasn't him. And it was uh, oh, like Chris, Chris Hayes. Chris Haynes. Chris Haynes. Yeah. 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 And he was like, you won't believe who just asked about you. He's like, who? He said, nobody. nobody. Yeah. <laughs> they all started laughing. He said, all right, get ready to speak Chinese. Then. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> no, no, he said you're going to be doing uh, you, ESPN Deportes. <laughs> yes, he, he said, did. get ready yeah, for ESPN, yeah, yeah. ESPN Deportes. <laughs> Um, so I got that type of power. Drew Holiday, <laughs> unrestricted free agent. Oh, he, 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 he won't be able to bring. He they probably won't be able to bring him back. Second apron type move. Yeah, got it. Got to lose him. Does he go to OKC? He said that he might retire after. He said the he contract. going back to Milwaukee on a min, not a minimum. <laughs> he gonna go he, help bring another championship to Milwaukee. That's a that yeah. What is what is Drew Holiday's market gonna be in a year and a half? Because it's San Antonio. They might have money. <sighs> Trey Young and Drew Holiday. Ooh. Yeah. Are we assu- we're assuming significant amount of regression for Drew or what? 
significant. I still think he'll be nah. I just Ooh, think the, I be, think the offense dips a little bit. He's not as Ooh, good offensively. He'll be thirty five, y'all. That's what I'm saying. Thirty five. He still might be able to still get down. If PJ if PJ Tucker still sliding them puppies, I think Drew Holiday can. Okay. Okay. What's yeah? But what's the market? What's it's probably because because it's a year in the future. I don't know who has money and who don't at this point. Because I don't think he'll be demanding a lot of money at that point. Yeah. You think under under twenty? Yeah. No. Or 18, no. 18 no, to 20. no. 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 I think he's still twenty five million, just not for not for seven, not for six years though. So they did like a two year twenty five mil. And no, that's like fifty million over two years. I think it could be slightly more. You think? Mm-hmm. The Jamal money is going to go up. No, yeah, I mean his value always going to be there because even if he does dip a little bit, you know he's one of them players that he's already got that recognition. Oh so. shit. This same year, Derek White is unrestricted. Yeah, no, they have. They, so they're going to have to choose one. Yeah. They choose Derek White. For they sure. will, yeah. yeah. He will only be 31. Well, they yeah. also had to pay Tatum that year, I think, too. Okay. You know who else is a free agent? Laurie Marketing. Oh. I think he I think he leaves. I think Laurie's leaving. To where? He could Laurie go to, just want to make the goddamn go playoffs, He could go man. to Denver. Denver this year is free agency is Caldwell Pope, Mm-mm. Aaron Gordon. Oh. Or he took the player option. Uh, no, uh, uh-uh. don't break the core. I don't know. Lyle I would Marcus, mess with Lowry in Denver. He needs to be on a playoff team. I like him with a team that's like not like Denver is more team orchestrated. Even though Jokic is running the show, everybody touches the ball and moves. Well, I don't want him on no no like heavy ISO. He's like the best out, off yeah. ball player in the NBA. I, I want are him where he's going to get the ball. ball. MPJ in order to get Lowry marketing. Man, in a heartbeat. <laughs> I was going to say who's the, the better fuck? player for Lowry marketing MPJ? Drive him to the airport. ASAP. Rocky. They're going to be making the same amount of money? I mean, Larry Market is significantly better on almost all fronts, except for Larry Market that don't got that. Brandon Ingram is a, is, a, is a free agent, too. <laughs> so Larry Market goes to the Pelicans. Was Zion? I ain't mad at that. That small ball lineup would be kind of nice. Larry the 5Z, yeah. That would be kind of nice. I wouldn't be against it. Larry's going to have a it's crazy to think that he will no longer be able to get like that role player type money. He's gonna be demanding like star money now. Yeah, he's cool. So like he can't go to like a contending team. He's gonna have to go to a team with money, and it may not be a contending team. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Chris Paul is a free agent. That hey. wipes open that book. Hey. I think that might be the year. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. But Kalari go now <laughs> to the Warriors. To the Warriors. Uh, Clay Thompson resigned in our hypothetical, right? Yes, I believe so. Yeah. So they still have all. They have Draymond, Steph Curry, Clay Thompson in the contract. Wiggins' contract Wait, is still there. Wiggins might be in here. Hold up. If Wiggins is there, then no, no, no. Wiggins can be. He signed. he signed a five year. Yeah, oh, yeah. They ain't got no money oh. for no liar marketer. Damn. He Unless did. they traded. What made them give Wiggins five years? He was the, the second best player on the MVP. I mean, yeah. a championship season. Five years. Is crazy. Eight. When that happened, none of us batted an eye because no. he was that good that year. Yeah, he was. So I, I'm not even I'm not even tripping about it. I'm not even tripping about it. I mean, now it's like, ugh. Yeah. But in the moment in time, it was like, damn, all right. Because one day on Instagram Live after the championship, Dr- him and Draymond, we about to get paid. Yeah. And they did. <laughs> they got paid. Yeah, it's funny because Rich Paul. He Rich made Paul. that. He made the All Star, and we was like, we was joking about it. But when the playoffs come, that defense was insane. It was everywhere. <laughs> it was everywhere. So. T- 2026. <coughs> Sorry, I suck at drinking water sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> this is a vital part of living. He, he sucks puts it down his ear. Every More now and so then. than trying to figure out, because there's going to be a lot of player movement. We'll yes. see. Yeah. What bad teams are now c- creeping up? Mm. Are the, the Pistons still bad? Are the Pistons <laughs> better? I'm sorry, Pistons. And friends. what good teams are do- switching positions? So I think the Magic will be a much better team. I know they're not they're not a bad team, but they're like the eighth, ninth seed. That's right what they right now. The Magic? Yeah, yeah. That's the what Magic. they're right now. No, they're right there right now. But I think they'll be like more of the upper seed. Yeah, I, I think they're gonna so be too. a top four seed by then. I when think. when you were talking about like the five years in the future, there was two players that came to mind. It was Vic and Paolo. also Paolo. So when y'all say that though, y'all yeah. not have to give me a team in the East who's falling. Everybody uh, can't rise. Probably the Knicks. <laughs> why the f- why the fuck would the Knicks fall? Probably the Knicks. It would be the Knicks. Why? <laughs> I just look when I look at the pool of talent. I think the other teams might just end up getting better than them. I think they'll be okay. I think that's fair. 
I think the Pacers will eventually be better than them. They have the better play, player in Tyler no, Taliburton. No, no, the Magic. No, Paolo, I'm not. Paolo's you can't gonna, sign me up for the Pacers. No, Paolo. Bank are we here. what? Two, we, are we three years in the future? Yeah. Now? The Pacers. Yes. The Pacers. What the hell do the Pacers have right now that's making you think I in three said, years they'll I be better than the Knicks? Said it, Tyrese Halliburton. Tyrese Halliburton by himself don't just prump him up like that. But bro. he's gonna also be much better than what he is now. How? How so? What do you mean? How so? He's still a young guard that's gonna progress and get better. That's he's not already, how that, that's, he's you, already one of the that's best. That's not guards how that goes. That's not how that goes. Tyrese Halliburton can can be the same and, exact player and still will be elite. You just don't get and better. Then, and look, at some point, he's going to stop. Then Benedict Matherin's also going to progress. They have the young talent. That he's progressing also, into what? A very good NBA player. To where the Knicks have a lineup of that. They do, but three years from now, that lineup may not look the same. You, we don't, we don't know what we're gonna get from. Julius I'm saying Randall. the same thing. Okay. I'm saying the same thing for the Pacers. I still think that what, their potential is higher than the we Knicks. We can lean more on what the Knicks have showed us way more of legitimately real talent they were than really what the first, Pacers yeah. did. You're doing they a were bunch a first of projecting round exit last year. Who the Knicks? No, they were not. What playoffs did you fucking watch? Oh no! It was a, it was oh, a second oh, 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 okay, okay. They lost to an okay. AC. They okay. lost to an uh -oh. AC. Okay. Uh -oh. They didn't lose to an AC. Though. Who the Pacers lose to? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> they didn't make it because uh, they got was oh. Oh. <laughs> Okay, okay. Uh, where are the Pacers I, right now? The sixth seed. Oh, where are the Knicks right now? The fourth seed. Oh, the they way I've been looking at it. Though. But the Knicks are losing players. You, you just talked about losing players. We don't have OG or Julius Randle. OG ain't even guaranteed to be there. He's guaranteed to be there. He what literally said. Now what are we talking about? Are we talking about three years in the future? Are we talking about right now? Because y'all didn't y'all didn't came back to now. I'm I was just enjoying going, the three I, years in the future. I'm just showing him his inconsistencies and points. And three years from now, who's better? The Pacers or the Knicks based off what you know and what you can predict. He listen, I don't want to disrespect nobody. I love Tyrese Halliburton, but you're not going to sit up here and pretend he's LeBron James. They have Tyrese Halliburton, so they're just going to be the LeBron best James. team in the league. No, I did not. I said that the, he's going to get better, so therefore the team is going to get better. So with that logic, Jalen Brunson is going to continue to get better. Jalen Brunson is already an old guard. <laughs> How old is Jalen Brunson? <laughs> he's like 26, 28. 27. I think he's like 28. I'm here at 28. I'm here at 26. He's 28. We can't. There's we, no we way Jalen like Brunson is my age. Put this man There's name no in way there. he's my age. Jalen Brunson. Jabari Parker is my age. It's 27 and 180 days. So he's about okay. So he's 27, he's 27 and a half. 27 and a half. So in three years, he'd be 30. Still basically his prime. Um, I'm taking Jalen Brunson at 30. I'm not going to sit up here and act like he's 30 right now and he's going to be 33. Mm -hmm. He's going to be a very, he's going to be damn good. And I Halliburton is going to be what age? Oh, probably like 27. I would probably, I would probably. Oh, guess. yeah, he is a little bit older, yeah. Uh, Tyrese Halliburton at this moment in time is 23. His birthday is this week. Happy birthday. So it'll be 24 this week. He's a Pisces. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's February 29th. 29th. So he turned in yeah. with five. Pisces game. Like to our boy. He turned in five. Pisces game. Pisces game. Uh, I think I, I, I enjoyed the conversation because I think both of y'all have rational ideas behind it. I've said this about the KB. Pacers before. What's his rational thinking? Younger team progressively gets better. I think he, that's rational. But he, ain't named, he named me two guys. That's, this is what I'm about to say, though. He ain't even say Jairus Walker. The Pacers are a team that, like, I look at their young core, and I'm not extremely excited about it at face value. Jairus Walker is a guy we have not seen play. We don't know what he'll be in three years. Benedict Mather's playing a lot better now that Buddy Heald is gone. But then again, what is his ceiling? Ty mm -hmm. Tyrese Halliburton, the fact that he's an all-NBA guard, is enough for me to say, like, good young core. But mm -hmm. the rest after that is just a bit wishy-washy. That's what I was saying. That's why I'm asking you. What do you think Benedict Matherin is when you say, man, they ain't got Benedict Matherin? What is he? Is he all star level? At least I don't know if he's from all star level, gauge. but he's. I don't know how to truly gauge how good he's going to be. But I know. So but I feel like you he's confidently name him over what the because Knicks I think has, he's bro. shown us signs of being very good. Do you think he's going to be as good of a player as OG Ananobi? He won't be the defender of OG. Ananobi. Do you think he's going to be as good of a player? Yes. And you always. Yes. Do you think he's going to be good as a player as Julius Randle? No, not multiple All NBAs. No, Julius Randle's not on the team in three years. Oh, yeah, that's a, that was my critical if he thing. Not, be. We upgraded the hell. We upgraded the hell out of what <laughs> we who is the staples on the team. You think Benedict Matthews that's, is going to be as good? That of a, is a very good. So yeah, like, like, that's how we should tackle this because obviously, like Isaiah Hardenstein, Josh Hart, these are guys that can be on one team. One Miles year. Turner was just on my free agency list. Is he going to be a Pacer? Who are the staples three years in the future for the Pacers? We can say that Tyrese, Tyrese Halliburton and Benedict Matherin. Benedict Matherin. Uh, give me Tyrese. Maybe Pascal Andrew. Siakam is probably going to yeah. sign give this me, extension. That's the name you didn't Andrew mention. Give, give me. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I want Nimhard. I, I don't. Uh, man. Um, he said Nimhard is like a staple. Yeah, I don't know. I think Nimhard is a guy that when you have to pay everybody, uh -huh. 
Nimhard is a guy that say, well, I could go over here and get this. Mm-hmm. He's and, an odd man out type guy. Even, Smith. Oh, yeah, three Aaron years Aaron is a short time span, but even for Benedict Mather, and I think that was still like, if they moved him or they felt like they could get a better player to help them now, I don't think that's out of the realm of possibility. I don't think so either. Yeah. So I'm thinking I'm stable. You're like paying, Tyrese Halliburton is for sure going to be He's already paid right. big money. You're going to pay Pascal Siaka money. Mm-hmm. Those are two staples. For the Knicks, it's like Shalen Bronson. OG Ananobi? No. Uh, we'll see. I would think, I, I would I would think they know. do I everything. I think he's a guaranteed staple. He's not even signed to an extension yet. He, he literally, literally, they literally traded because the man wants to be in New York and is going to take. The reason I would say yes is because I feel like they're doing everything in their power to keep OG that's, on their that's team. That's like kind of it, though. You know? That's like kind of it. Like, if Julius Randle got traded in the offseason, none of us is like, oh, my God, there's no way. You know what I'm saying? I think, this, I think it's two and two as far as first sure staples. You can, you can say, like, borderline staples, Miles Turner, he spent the entire damn career wanna, there. I, I was going to say, I damn near want to give them Miles Turner, yeah. even though the contract ain't lengthy because he seems like he could be a life for any yes. fits Tyrese yeah. Halliburton. Yeah. So I'll give them Miles Turner. Um, I think the Magic in a few years are going to be better than the Knicks. Paulo and Franz, I think those Who's two, their guard in three years? I think they'll figure that out. I don't know who the legit point guard is. So everybody is. get the benefit of the doubt except the Knicks. They're going to just figure it out. I think his rationalization, and you tell me if I'm wrong, is just like the Knicks are a team that are primed for the now, and you're, yeah. you're picking teams that are young with and the we're pro- progress Palo to be should better. be better. And yeah. my Palo argument be is that is it's not as Elenia. black and white as that. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's and just I like not. 2K. I don't it's know. It's just not. Last year, Tyrese the- Halliburton is an all-NBA player. This could be the best year of his career. That's just how the NBA works out. You don't just go, oh, and he all NBA. Next year, he's going to be MVP. It don't go like that. It just doesn't. I'm sorry. I think, I think for certain, I think Tyrese is in in, in a, like top whatever percent where it feels like that is the case. A what guy is like the Benedict Matt, where he's going to continue to get better until 28, 29. A guy like Benedict Matherin, his progression is probably not linear. Hell, we saw him be amazing for the first two months of his NBA career, and then he was bad to not so good the rest. So, like, I think there are certain players that you kind of can look at and say. Um, but I think Tyrese Halliburton play style and how he plays is kind of on a Trey Young level where it's like they do this shit and you get – it's just like it just stays there. And people kind of look at it like – I'm trying to think of a word to put it at. Where like it's not that they're not getting better, but it's like it's going to give you a bunch of points and a, and a lot of assists. Mm-hmm. The defense is going to be questionable, and they're not like— I think the growth is just really kind of like maturity, but that's not just— it can help your game on the court, but it's not growth. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think with Trey Young, over the past couple of years, what's the best thing he probably got better at? Maybe a little bit of decision-making, some defense. His defense. But it's he has been the same game. It's just he's kind of kind of perfect. That's but, all but I'm even, saying. They're looking that, at it as the same game. I, I, I agree with you. But those small things, when you're when you're a star player or mm-hmm. close to a star player, all NBA caliber players, you can only get marginally better yeah. than what you are. That's so all like, I'm saying. Yeah. What is Tyrese Halliburton doing now that in three years he'll probably be better at? Right now he struggles with finishing through contact. Maybe that'll never come because he's a thin frame guard. But maybe in three years he's better at that one aspect yeah. of his game, which makes him better. Mm-hmm. And then one thing for me also with the Magic is that last year Paolo won Rookie of the Year. They were what they were the 13th seed. This year he comes out. He's an All Star. They were at some point the fourth seed, now that they see. So, like, I guess it, that right there shows you that Paolo progressing through that first or second year, his progression immediately made them a playoff team. So I feel like three years from now, his progression is going to be all NBA, and now he's going to be one of the top guys in the country. It's the very – I agree because it's safe because that's pa- – Paolo Bencaro is the number one overall pick. He's played like it for the first two years he's of his career. He's 20. It's pretty safe to say he's going to be significantly yeah. better because we're yeah. already seeing he's, it right now. He's so a I, baby. I like, yeah. He's yeah. 20. And I have know. more confidence in them than the Pacers because mm-hmm. he is literally yeah. a baby. No, he, He's a yeah. second-year player right yes. now we're talking about. Yeah. That makes more sense. But y'all, you sitting up here acting like Brun- like uh, Halliburton is a rookie and Brunson is, 20, is 30. No. In three years, Brunson is only going to be 30 years old, brother. He's only gonna be he's only gonna be yeah. thirty years old. We're, we're not gonna act like Brunson is gonna be in a Walker in, in three years. Like, oh man, retirement party for for Brunson, a parade just stops. Yeah, he'll still be doing what he's doing. And then Benedict Matherin, Benedict Matherin is cool. Benedict Matherin is a cool player, but I don't look at Benedict Matherin and, and, and it's like, oh yeah, my god, is gosh. he ceiling an All Star? Like, if, no, it was, if the line was zero point five, you're going under on All Star yes. just for Ben Matherin. Yes. What about you? Man? No disrespect. <laughs> no disrespect. I give a player one, bro. If they if they have, you can see the talent in it. 
I always say I give him one because it's going to be one time where you got an opportunity. Him or Jalen Green. on a different team, and it's like he got 20. Him or Jalen Green. Him or Jalen Green. For all-star appearances or just in general? Both. Probably. I'd probably take one. They're like damn near. It's I, damn near I, the I same. I think they're the same mode. I'd probably go Jalen Green in that case, though. Yeah. I would go all-star appearances Ben Matherin because he plays in the Eastern Conference. He ain't got to go through Devin Booker. He ain't got to go through Steph Curry and so on and so forth. But Jay, I think – if I'm building a team, I'd probably go Jalen Green as yeah. the pick between those two. Right Better than Masters in his, what, second year? Yes. yes. Yeah. What do y'all group him at for young players in the league? It's not in my 25 under 25, I'd tell you that much. He might not be in my 40 under 25. No mm-hmm. disrespect. Like similar players around him around his age or just so yeah. young, when you think about the young yeah, players yeah. in the he game, would, it would be tough where to you where you putting him at? He wouldn't be in the 25 under 25. <laughs> Is he even near your 25 on 25? He's the only outskirts. He might be in the 30s. I'm just thinking off head. I, I don't really know the whole list right now. But so I'm you got Paolo, you got yeah, Fran. He's not in there. that type. He's probably about like 2B, if that kind of makes sense. Like he's in that B level category. Because I think he'd be all star. Like it, 20 points is different from how it used to be in the game. But like that's still pretty in damn impressed, especially when you did come in as your rookie year trying to do that. So obviously he could score the damn ball. I'm just thinking of the position he he's plays. He's also just 21 as well, so he's a super. Good I've seen him. Too. Yeah, I've seen the spurts where he's had like 25, 30 points, and they look like all star type shots. It's just when is he? He's not. I don't think he gets that same whole opportunity with Tyrese. I don't think he ever will, because I don't think that that's the. You know, I don't think they, the Pacers look at him as like that's what we building yeah. this shit around him to take those shots. Mm-hmm. I think he's a really good player. I think he's an athletic player. Um, I think he should be a, a way better defender. I think he should be a lot better of a playmaker with that athleticism and get, being able to attack. I think he could be. I think he could be better. I think he could be better. But I do think he's good. I'm not here to, to, to no, down dude, on. Uh, ben flat out, just score the ball, honestly. Um, but yeah, if you ask me, I'm taking the Magic. Who? So the Knicks fall. The Knicks are falling for the who? Uh, Pacers and the Magic. No, y'all had a different – oh, the Magic going up. Who else is going out? The Pistons good now. No. No, I wouldn't say the, the Pistons, Pistons still good. bottom. Yeah, I still think they're – And bottom. I'm okay with Unless, saying that too for like – I know it's a couple years down the road. We've seen teams be bad for a stretch of 10-plus years. Where the Raptors at? Uh, where the Hawks at? Uh, I, like, I like where the Rockets could be at. We ain't get yeah. to the West yet. Oh. Skipping I still think the Hawks are still, with them moving on from Trey Young, I still think they're like an eighth, eighth seed area. Did we ever get a full season of LaMelo Ball? Yeah, 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 now you with my head. Like those bottom teams, where are they? Are they still I the like bottom? The, I like what the Hornets are going to look like. Brandon, I almost said Brandon Ingram. Brandon, <laughs> Brandon Miller. Maybe they do have Brandon Ingram. <laughs> Maybe they have yeah, Potentially. <laughs> Who knows? He from North Carolina? Uh, they got the core. They they got a, a core with him, Mark Williams. And I like Mark Mello Williams, too. Got, they, they, should got ha- they should add another pick this year. Another, there should, should be have another Kai Jones. Mm-hmm. They say, yo, with that hooping like Jordan. And they <laughs> might be building a culture right now. Oh, I still see that. They got the ball. The, yeah. yeah. Over the, ball it was so there. weird to see him ball. It was so <laughs> weird, bro. So weird. Yeah. What are Wizards at? Still where they are. They're, they're still building. Jordan they're, they're making their way. Is that Jordan Poole last year? They hope so. <laughs> <laughs> where the Nets at? No man's land. Just like they are right now, still just the no Chicago man's, Bulls, no man's land. But hey, Hopefully, Kobe White is an all star, yeah. baby. We did it, we did it. Well, if he's an all star, they probably not in those man, no man's hey, land. They, DeMar DeRozan, was an all star last year, no man's land. That's true. Okay, Western Conference, mm-hmm. bottom teams, Spurs. We're projecting are going up. Yes. Yeah. They're, so they're, who are falling? Who's falling? Um. There's a word where the Suns could fall. I, yeah, they can't mind. I think KD could be older. Bradley B, I don't know what we're going to be getting from him. At These that point. guys are older. You see how you talk about them? Even now, I, I, my eyebrows raised because it's Kevin Durant. I don't know. But man. at least these guys are actually older. They're, they're he going to be like 38, 39 by the time we talk. The way you yeah. talked about Brunson is how but you talk Bron about these 30, guys. 39? Now. He's 101. I, uh, the way Bradley Beal's had, the year has gone this year, I think it's, it's the, the Clippers the, also a team that could be down. I think yeah, they, they, they could age, just James Harden, yeah. Kawhi, PG, Russell. three years from now. 
are going to be much older. Not mad at that. So they got a new arena and good jerseys now. So it's, everything's <laughs> yeah. okay. Golden State. Kobe Brown, baby. Golden State still trying to push through for that Lakers. championship. What you mean? I wouldn't be against Steph Curry being on no, another No, the Lakers team. have another star on the team in three years. LeBron I don't know who at it is. 43 years old, we got to have another star. If somebody else is on that roster. I don't know who they gotta it go, is. They got to swing for the fence one more time. Yeah. They were in that Trey Young conversation before he got traded to the Spurs. And uh, somebody else who's on the market is looking at L.A. Yeah. I don't know who it is. Oh, the ball, brother. Things ain't working out in Charlotte. Are the Timberwolves still one of these top teams? Or yeah, just, they'll okay. still have Anthony Edwards, who's be, be like 27 at that point. Wait, yeah, we could we could put Lonzo came back too in this, right? <laughs> it's our future. Lonzo <laughs> so, yeah, came back to the Bulls. Man. Okay, word. All right, so we not no man's land. Right? Yeah, Lonzo so back slightly above that, but he playing more of a Sean Livingston role. <laughs> <laughs> John Moran is playing like the face of the league. That's One the question: the is the who's the face? Who, who's the face? Is it Tatum because he's got his championship now and his Finals MVP and his Finals MVP? Is it Wimby because he's in year three? Is it Shea with the drip? Does does Wim- <laughs> do y'all? Be in the face of the league, is that something you have to want? Yes. Or can it just be given to you? No, you have to want it. You okay. have to, you have to I think you have to kind of play into it a little bit. You have to be in commercials. You have to be good on the microphone. It's like being a WWE what if you be superstar. In, what if you want to be in commercials and stuff, but like you don't want the responsibility of being the face of the league? Sorry. It's just given to you. You have to be So you, if I so if I have some off court miss issues, y'all just now I'm just the the mess up of the league. Even though I didn't ask to be the, y'all, y'all looking at me as the face of the league, even though oh, no, I didn't I, want, I think you I didn't have want to it. like somewhat agree to be in the face of the league. You have to? Yeah. yeah. I think so. I would agree. They're not just going to like, say if it was Jokic, they're not going to just thrust them in there. They know damn they, well Jokic right, is not going to fulfill that role. I don't think they do want to have Jokic as a face of the no, league. No, I think, yeah, yeah. he's got his selection. Exactly. Oh, he's got one commercial now. <laughs> yeah. Hotels.com, baby. Yeah, he's in two of them. Uh, <laughs> but Jokic is the best player we have in early. Not even th- thought about the face of the league. Doesn't even care. All star poster in 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 the Annapolis did not have Jokic's face on it. He doesn't yeah, try to be marketable, well, which yeah, is fine. LeBron. That's not what he wants, you know. But we've been we've had Braun, we've had Cole before, we've had Steph Curry, Steph Curry Michael, Mike. Like, in order to be face of the league, in a lot of cases, you have to end up being like top ten in conversations, which is crazy. But you also have to be f- like charismatic you have to be a, a guy that doesn't get into trouble like it's a lot of things that go into that and um i think Wimby checks a lot of those boxes so far yeah. anytime you put a mic in front of him he's saying something interesting uh i think tatum also fits some of that tatum's a good talker he is but he, it's about getting him to talk yeah he's not basically going out of his way to do like lebron will show you his 500 wins in madden on instagram tatum is not doing that only thing tatum is posting is him and his son which I respect, but it's not anything like we don't know much about Jason Tatum the person. We know yeah. him as a dad. We know him as a he dates Jordan the girl that athlete. made boot up. He does. That's See, I didn't girlfriend. know that. I did not know that. That made what? Who is that? Boot What's up. Name? Boot LMA. up. LMA. Right. Yeah. LMA. 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 I actually think I that's beautiful that we don't know a lot of what goes on with him because he when in your interview he said privacy was something that you struggle with once you make it to the but NBA. But that's why it's weird that he would say that he wants to be face of the league because that he's already doesn't have privacy as an yeah. all-in. He doesn't player. want to be private talking to your ass. <laughs> <laughs> he got a lot of interviews. <laughs> I don't know. You can't have both. You can't have the privacy nah. in their face of the league stuff. Because Bron, Bron can't do anything. Steph couldn't do any or can't do anything. MJ can't do anything. And he's not even face of the league no more. MJ can't go out of his house. I remember it was like a couple years ago. It was a dude <laughs> that caught Steph Curry. Just He was at the gas station. And all he did was pull that phone out. Yeah. Record him. Yeah. Can't do nothing, bro. Would you do the same thing? Hell yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Then Steph, LeBron Steph said, like, yeah, he, put it on the flashlight, too. LeBron said he wished he, wish he could just go to Target sometimes with Savannah and just, like, just do normal mm-hmm. stuff. That I feel. Mm-hmm. Target is a good place. Target is a good place. Not a, not a sponsor. 2026. He could, he could build his own Target in his house. <laughs> That's not the same. You the worst type of person ever. <laughs> That man want to get out his house. Ever and you crazy. telling him to build he a, target build a whole in his target house. in that man. He can go shop every hate when day. People, I hate when people act like they don't understand that. <laughs> man, you, you make a billion dollars. I hate when rich people say you want to do normal stuff. Yeah. Like, I'm not feeling bad for him. You, the reason he wants to go to Target is for the experience of just being out in yeah, public. Yeah, without nah, being nah, harassed, I was just harassed, harassed I know. Or asked to take a picture. and He just wanted to just walk around and just do, do normal stuff. Yeah. But or like Tatum said, he wants to go to the park with his per- kids. Personally, I would sacrifice going to Target for a billion yeah. dollars. That's just me. What about going to the park with your daughter? For a billion dollars? That's just me. 
Avery, goddamn it, the jungle gym is in the attic now. I would. I, <laughs> this is my this is my stance on it. I agree with KB a thousand percent. But I understand yeah. that I would want to go to for uh, tar- Target. I mean, he ain't been able to go to Target in since he was eighteen. Yeah. How many years? Is that twelve years. Uh, That's 15, my only 20, thing. 20, I'm 20 not years. feeling bad for them. Oh. I'm not saying you trade the money. I just hate when people act like they don't understand how a yeah. person who has to deal with mayhem every single day, with just one time, like to be normal, like to do something normal. They don't. They're not saying that they hate being Ooh, rich. Was it Braun that said that um, one of his favorite memories of being a pro is when they were in the Olympics? And they all went to McDonald's. Oh, oh they, they stopped at the gas station. station. Yeah, they stopped at the gas station with the Wendy's. And, and nobody cared. Yeah. And then, um, uh, man, somebody else has said when they went overseas, nobody cared that he was a player. Like, they were there as a mm-hmm. team. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, it was um, it was um, Jalen Brunson on the podcast when they were just in overseas for the uh, okay. FIBA stuff. He oh, said they yep. went to the mall all together. Yeah, the whole team, Jaylen the Brunson. athletic staff said nobody asked for no pictures. Nobody even looked at them. They were just a part. He said that's how his life is in New York. Oh, just because it's New York. He said New Yorkers just be like, Keep killing, and they just keep walking. Yeah. Hmm. Versus, you know. Interesting. That's interesting. Interesting. Yeah, it'd, it'd be seeming like that when I see people post pictures of them in like other countries, like Floyd when he's overseas, and he, like I see him post pictures, like seems like he's just out in the streets, just being normal. Mm-hmm. And that's actually kind of crazy because Floyd couldn't do that out here. Yeah, he couldn't. <laughs> Two thousand twenty-six champions. You riding very hard for the Pacers, so I'm guessing that's your guess. <laughs> I don't think they're championship ready at that point. Uh-oh. But they better but they than close. the Knicks. <laughs> yes. Completely if we don't possible. have Julius Randle, we're going to have a star on that team. I'm just letting you know. Get your head out your hey, ass. I'm going to let the Knicks bias keep riding. I'm it ain't a Knicks bias. It's just a fact. <laughs> it's just a fact. They get a little taste I guess of we'll find out in three years. It's just, it's just a fact. Just remember this episode. You can't. Don't talk to me about bias when Damian Lillard come up every episode in this podcast. He not in his head like the Lakers don't. <laughs> we, talk, we all talk about oh, our you team. Pull the mic on no, we don't. No, we don't. No, we don't. My team is. I bring up the bull. I'm, I'm, I will tell you, I am a biased My Bulls team fan. is the best team on this panel, and I don't come on here and pop Hell my no, shit unless Bucks they come up. The Bucks is the best team on this panel. <laughs> Fear the deer, baby. Stop playing with me. Oh, go, off, go. Off. Fear go the deer. Go off. Fear the deer. Stop it. He hasn't said that that little slogan oh ever before God, until ever. now. Ever. We said, man. Giannis should be an MVP. He might be if he not on the team, man. But if he not on the team, we get Dame Portland. <laughs> Bro, you remember just, we was at All Star. You remember we remember we was trying to find our seats. We was so we was real high up, and they started they started doing a three point con or they started doing it. It was like ain't that Dame down there? <laughs> And D Mills confirmed. He's like, "Yeah, I know them tattoos down there. He in the three hundred. Yep. He know Dame yep. back. Yeah, he like no. Know. He like no. Matter of fact, that ain't Dame. That fade. He's gonna let his fade grow that much. <laughs> his fade is too dark to the side. Dame will never, never let his fade get that dark on the side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we in the Adidas party. See now, y'all. Just we in the Adidas crazy. party. Just now, crazy. We walking up the stairs. He said. <laughs> <laughs> He said, Dang is, he said, yeah, Dame is by the bar. I can sell his cologne. <laughs> <laughs> Dame is the only one that wears that Versace. <laughs> <laughs> that Versace for lo- the cologne is only. <laughs> hey, Derek, it's your podcast. You want to talk about Dave? Talk about Dame, man. I ain't got nothing to talk T- about. Talk, 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 about, how he, I ain't got to talk, talk about. about how he third in points per possession when he drives to the basket. Damn, I did not know that. Thank you. He said he don't know the stats. He gave he some know, ammunition. He don't know the stats. He just know appearance. He, he just know where where his tattoos. I don't. Is placed I, I, at. Dude, that's not real, by the way. Oh, he's no. in the top ten. I just don't Listen, know about what he, he's in the top ten. Sp- speaking of real, you need to speak facts only and facts only because what? when you, when you on here, they don't know you and they don't know your oh, exaggeration. Be joking, yeah. I'm, a, I, I'm in the com- I'm back in the comments because we got a new channel, so I be trying to show love. I, you know what I mean? D- just. Uh, interact with certain things. Last episode, I saw a part. They said, oh, Pierre's bias is getting too crazy. Paul <laughs> George has been awful this season. <laughs> <laughs> I said, yeah, see, that's the problem with you not knowing KB. KB said something, and he, he, was, he was halfway right, but he exaggerated a little bit because that's what we do on the show. <laughs> we exaggerate all the time, and you took that shit and ran with it. Paul yeah. George, homie, ain't shooting 22%, <laughs> and has not shot 22% this year. But you just going to go off what KB said, and now you're sitting here looking stupid. In those last 14, I think it was like 29%. Then this is what I'm gonna do when I'm exaggerating a little bit. I'll do this. Tell you to review the tape. <laughs> last, I looked up the last fifteen. Shooting forty two percent. 
Mm. I looked up the last 15 games. It was 42%. All right. 42, which is not good for Paul George. No, I was talking about three-point shooting, not field goal percentage. I was was talking about three-point shooting. The three-point shooting was 35. Mm. All right. That's what I looked up on basketball reference. I looked this last 15 games up specifically. Went back. He had two 30-point games, a 38. What did I say? I got bad eyes set up. Let me see. What the Show hell? me. He's talking about what the hell. That, that thing, will you see how, how close no. he's looking? I don't say 22%. I say 30. They say th- I said 29 just a couple seconds ago. Yeah, but I think 29. you said on the, the last show you said yeah. 22. Oh, maybe. Okay. But you, that's the exaggeration. Um, What a, I, oh, what was I going with the, what I was just saying? The Paul the George stuff? No. You know, you're being oh, biased. Exager- being oh, biased. Uh, if you want to be biased on your damn show. Yeah. Just like, no, yesterday, that's what I was going. What did you say yesterday? Somebody said, or did somebody say something our to best, you? Some of our best moments is when one of us is being biased about our At team. the golf course, somebody <laughs> brought up something that was said, and you, no, it was you. You pulled out, you remember you showed us on the phone? The dude said something about the Spurs. We talked about Vic. Oh, oh yeah, he said this is the first time they talked about the Spurs in oh, four years. Oh, I do got that quote. Yeah. Then yeah. you know what? Start your own podcast. <laughs> The exact what are we gonna was, say about the Spurs three years ago? This is the most. I, this is the most I've ever seen them talk Dem- about Wimby uh. or the Spurs in four years. This new show got them doing hoops on hops on command. What the hell does that mean? I don't even know. That what we're that just mean. jump. We are being told to talk about the Spurs and Wimby because hey. we signed with ESPN. So no, nobody has ever made a run of show for us outside of the four people sitting at this. We barely this be making a run of show. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fast. We barely make a run of show. Yeah. I don't make a run of show for us. Never, hey, on, on <laughs> real, I, I respect professionalism, but to me, when this is your job, the run of show though. is not that necessary. Mm. We finna come in here and we gonna talk about basketball. If you don't know. If we got not, bullet points on what we gonna hit? Yeah, there's yeah. obvious things, but other than that, it's basketball is being talked. If you can't keep, if I bring up the fact that this team is struggling, and you had, and you just did not know. Then you need to go home and do your job. <laughs> yeah. But we could come on here and say the way only the, thing we do sometimes we lay out like, okay, we're going to do uh, no cap and no cap meals, mans of the week, which we haven't done in like a month now. We know he gonna, like that's what we do. Right, like a main topic, maybe. Yeah. But like the last three years, when it was through the wire, it was. Not a single runner. There was no documentation. Come in and ever. we talk about basketball. Yeah. Keep yeah. the job simple. We All damn near. We damn near we used to think of the titles after the box. <laughs> yeah, that's, KB will be sitting at the laptop thinking like, hmm. what's the, what are we talking about? No, that's my favorite thing because, yeah, you'd be like, what are we just talking about? And then sometimes it'll she make was titles. an hour after the pod. We, it'll be nothing that we talked about. We talk about it for 30 seconds. Clippable. <laughs> and, and nobody ever complained about it, by the way. Yeah. Because most of the people, the, the title is to get the new people in. Yeah. The people that mess with us, it don't matter. The title could say boo-boo shit shit and the people are going <laughs> to click it. You know what I'm saying? And we mess with y'all. They're gonna be friends. interested. They're gonna be interested. <laughs> like, what what the hell is that title for? But like that's that's we ride with y'all, but the title is to get the new people in. Oh yeah. my god, they talked all 30 teams. We talked about 20 of them off. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like that's what the title's for. That's all. Yeah. Um, yeah. But that the, yeah, I and s- then also this is the most topical to Spurs and Wim and Wimby have been. Yeah, what, what, Rick, 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 two years ago we're gonna talk about Wimby? No. But my or thing the is Spurs? my thing is what what, 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 like, why shouldn't we? What is your, yeah. what is, matter of fact, what is your point in saying that? Because if we don't talk <laughs> no, about them, then y'all gonna say now. we don't talk about yeah. them. Mm-hmm. Then we do talk about them, and it's like, oh, you're doing hop, hop, skiddy do on it. Yeah. This right. is like, bro. It's my favorite thing when I be on Twitter. And hey, I see, but shout out to watching you. You've been watching for four years. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. It's my favorite thing when I go on Twitter and I just see somebody quoting KB or like, uh, tagging KB like, Man, you ain't talk about my team today. I see where the hate coming from. <laughs> and KB's just like, bro, relax. Yeah. Hey, there are a lot of people that make videos in sports, people, man. People you crazy, bro. Whatever, you ain't talk about my Hornets. There was weeks. a comment. <laughs> whatever you're looking for, it's out there. That said, man, you could. I just, P is just a cancer in the locker room. <laughs> I'm like, bro. Says the guy who can't pay to be in a locker room. <laughs> like, what? Do, like, what do people be convinced? We should build a locker room, by the way. I never. That would be dope, boy. right here. Yeah, just the coat, right yeah. here. I never watched the podcast and was like, yeah. I just know he he be in there stirring the pot. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't I don't watch uh, first take and be like, mm, I just know. Molly is hard to work. <laughs> I've never said that anybody. You didn't like watch that shit. And I be don't like. I don't I act need like to I talk know. about this team or this like I just be watching. You know, yeah, I enjoy the whatever. content. If bro. I'm watching, exactly. Well, you also a, a Lakers fan, so you know your team go get talked. About. Uh, that true, is very true. true. But I'm not my, watching no, my the thing and then like they about. need to talk about the Jazz today. 
I'm not thinking like that. But you, but you know, the, the, that's the thing about it. There are people that are doing the thing you're looking for. If you need to get your jazz fixed, there's probably a hundred creators that make yeah. jazz specific videos. It really is. It's out there. Basically, when people yeah. say that, I, I take it as a compliment because that means they they want they want to hear our opinion yeah. about their favorite team, not just any opinion. And I take it as a compliment. That's exactly what it is. Wrong. That is exactly what it is, bro. Because people ask me, and I don't even want to say it like this, but it just is what it is. I'm a blunt person. People ask me stupid shit all the time, and I'm like, oh, that's just because you want us to validate it. Yeah. Like like yesterday. Or not even yesterday, but they'll be like, what you think of Vic Game? Uh, he had a five by five, bro. I think what everybody <laughs> else cool, thinks. Huh? Pretty think cool, huh? I think what everybody else thinks. Yeah. <laughs> but you just want me to say he did good. Yeah. Hey, P, what do you think about the Mavericks while they're on this 30-game win streak? <laughs> um, <laughs> they're dominant. Uh, they're, they're, they're doing their thing, brother. Like. People we people tweet me and say obvious shit all the time. Hey, what'd you think about uh You know we haven't talked about a lot this year? The best team in basketball. The Celtics. The Celtics yeah. Because there's nothing to say other than Literally they are the say. best team yeah. in basketball. It's more fun to talk about the other teams that's trying to like come up, right? The yes. Mavericks, yes. the Timberwolves, the Kings. Because there's more the, fluidity in yeah. their season. It's yes. more fluidity. There's more no like ups the and downs. Going for the Celtics. from being in the play in, getting eliminated to now being a two seed. Mm -hmm. For sure. The Thunder being a number one seed out of nowhere. Back like, in those years where the Warriors were dominant, we didn't really talk about the Warriors because it was just even like. Though, and we knew that they were going to be in the championship yeah. to yeah. win, but we still made contact. Why would we talk about like, KD with the Warriors? Other yeah, than saying, like, man, that was a <laughs> fun experience, kind of, <laughs> depending on who you ask. So I don't That's know. That's crazy. We should give ourselves a pat on the back. We was really podding during those times when we knew. The finals was going to be the Warriors. No, winning. what's worse, we were potting when there was no basketball, no basketball for two and a half yeah. months. We yeah. Tuesdays and Saturdays, we was on Zoom trying to make it happen. That's where the great debate episode came from. So amazed. We need another one of those. This yeah. offseason, when things tied down a little yes, bit. We did, uh, we did Jeopardy at one time. Yep. Jeopardy was it, fun. It for, I loved it because it forced us to be creative. We did Jeopardy there's nothing on Zoom? to react to. We just yeah. doing it. I had created a Jeopardy board with, like, Five different topics, mm -hmm. but one of them had nothing to do with basketball. Yeah, yeah. And then the rest of them was like 2010, 2000. It was <laughs> that like Zoom era was goaded because I had I, we had that quiz and I was like, D Mills, what teams did the, the Spurs beat in the finals? And he's you like, said, the Lakers. The Lakers. <laughs> <laughs> Both on a Western Conference, like a <laughs> with the, then he had an office background too. That yeah, yep. he got Michael Scott just over. <laughs> Notb YouTube channel, um, drop it soon. Other content. Yes. No, you don't say yes. <laughs> You're not committed. Uh-oh. Here we go. How are you? I'm always committed to NOTB. Okay. But are you committed that's it to though. content? Trying to. Okay. okay. I want to start I wanted to start a show with uh, uh put it in the world so it has to happen. Go ahead talk about it. I wanted I wanted me and Derek to do some outside of basketball shit. I think we got good chemistry. People would like to see us. We yeah. want to come up there with I th stories I think and we could talk. Be, I think we could, me and you could do a lot of shit, but I think this is just a start to yeah. do something outside of this. But I think we could do, we we really, we might have missed our time. We could have did a Robin Big type show. Yeah. Well, me, when KB and I was walking through here, we was looking at the rooms, I was like, me and, K, me and P could put our little spot in here. He said, y'all could. Y'all want to invest got an, in it? We got an extra room that won't have anything in it. But I don't, I'm not ready to commit that until he showed me he's ready to commit. It could be like, not trying to steal it, but Nightcap. It's supposed yeah, to be a no, football show. No, they yeah, talk football 7% of the time. That's kind of the value that we wanted it to be. We yeah. wanted it to be open I wanna, conversations I about other hear things. hear Derek's opinion on shit. And it can get him more in tune with pop culture. Because mm -hmm. y'all know he just yes, so out yes. of the loop. That's, yeah, that's the best sure. part about the show, potentially. He going to be like, Kylie Jenner, who is that? <laughs> <laughs> she got lipsticks? I didn't know that. <laughs> she I'm, got a baby with Travis Scott? What's this way? Hey, but now it's in the world, and the people going to put that pressure on. We gonna put that pressure yeah. on. Mm -hmm. And that community, Nightcap is one of the fastest growing communities in in the world. They, they hit a million already. Yeah, it's crazy. Who oh, does yeah. that? And we get what he say? Who does that? <laughs> I think he's taking your spot as the I least. I think so too. Like especially you don't with know a girlfriend anything. now. Yeah, yes. Yeah. With, with There's Pop no way you don't know what Nightcap is. No, I don't. It's Shannon and Ocho. Uh, I never knew the name of it. Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah. Look at his like And you know how I know he in love though. <laughs> We um, cause her name comes up every time we, we do golf. Something. We golf, and every story you told us when we played <laughs> yeah. golf was revolving around your girl, which is fine. But it's like that's just different from no. Like, it's not yeah. fine. Why? Because he was the guy that when you was doing it five years ago with Suzanne, mm -hmm. head ass. Oh, no, oh no. hell yeah, yes. yeah, yes. No, it's head fuck ass. That. 
Okay, would, give my example of what I did that was head ass. I can give examples of what you do was head give, give an example. Give me an okay, example because I'm curious. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he put his head right I, there. I love my girlfriend that's head ass. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Where? Where? Sorry, I wasn't trying to impress the boys. <laughs> Wait, you, when you, the egg video was head ass. Which one? What's I, the egg video? I made $6,000 on that egg video. What was the egg video? Is it head ass now? <laughs> yeah. Boy, right. you would crack an egg on your head for six thousand dollars. Boy, stop, stop <laughs> lying. She cracked the egg on you. Yeah, it was NBA trivia. If I got it wrong, she cracked the egg on my head. That's head ass. That's content. That is content. Thank you. Okay, they my had fault, a sponsor my fault. in that video, and I had ass sense. That's a six thousand. I'm thinking about video. somebody else that was more head ass. It wasn't him. It wasn't him. It's somebody we know. Oh, somebody I, in this room was pretty head ass. That my friend is head <laughs> ass. That is the head asses of the asses. Yep, we ass. You him. know asses. Yeah. Who, who got a fat head? Not Kyle Lowry. <laughs> <laughs> ice Spice. Okay. That was the Ice Spice of all of it. You know that? Yeah. You were, you, you talk about Mount Rushmore of head asses. You talk about Michael Jordan. <laughs> you talk about 100 points in the game. That was you. Yes. And I and I'm you my mans. I would never want to tell you anything that ain't true. Yeah. But that's true, bro. I was head ass? No, 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 no. You were head asses. <laughs> Hey, I was the flip flops. I, I was in my bag. Flip Bro, flops. You was in your to, bag. To in this day, bag. if I walk into Target and there's like a matching pajama set with a man and a woman, I think about that that one video. Mm -hmm. You know a video? Yeah. I think every time I think about that video. We're that, we're that couple. We're that couple. They Bro, don't know nothing about that. Can I ask you a few questions? They this, don't. Have, they this, don't know about this that. This is why boy. we need a nightcap. This is why we need our nightcap. Yeah. What makes a man <laughs> do that? <laughs> We're matching pajamas? No, 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 no. Be that head ass. Oh. <laughs> I got matching. I don't think matching pajamas yeah. is that it, head ass. It's the way y'all recorded that. It's the, it's the, it's it's the yeah. culmination of so many things. Yeah. The pajamas. Flip flops. But I think flip flops wasn't my idea. But you were. Hey, man, my girl, <laughs> man, she, they not getting warm. <laughs> I'm going like, to say these, baby. I'm going to put no, them in a lock yeah. box. I did wear them to the podcast. You did. And, and then we you appreciate were, you for that because yes. I wanted to see them in person. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't feel like they were real until I saw them in front of me. <laughs> the blue H O H hat. That, That's like that completely was, unrelated. That was, to that that was, that was a switch. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was oh. on the, he was on the chase for like three years, and he got. The check, like he fulfilled that chase, and that's probably what it was. It was that's like, why the gr the greatest thing ever is failing. It's not always getting it. Because you know what I love your current relationship. Yep, me too. Leagues ahead of the past one. Yeah, I can agree. I hope so. <laughs> but the funny thing about your relationship now, as much as I love it, I see why you was in head asses. Because you don't ever wear them pants. Uh oh. But you just, Angie's just such a great woman that she ain't finna have you in no uh, pants. No, no damn. I Roshi saying, runs I mean, with her face on. <laughs> Got an well, on the back, back then, you would have had these Air Force Ones custom with y'all face on the swoosh. <laughs> <laughs> and would have been at All Star like this. What up, Dane? <laughs> <laughs> Dane, look. Look. Yeah, Dane, that's my girl. <laughs> she the one that got me your jersey. <laughs> but yeah, what gets, what gets you in that spot of just like young? Okay. I think I was thinking that exactly. Youthfulness. Yeah. yeah. Inexperience. Yeah. I think I was thinking that exactly. First real relationship. Yep. All of yeah. that plays a part. Lost your virginity, right? Not. No. Oh, okay. That, he that. said, no, nah, I had a couple <laughs> bodies before that. <laughs> 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 yeah. That d is a different breed, man. You really have come with such a long way. We all have, honestly, but it's just funny to think about some of those things. And then Mike... Mike used to, bro, you know what's funny about you? I'm finna get on your case. And y'all can get on my case at any time because they be thinking I'll be bullying or picking you know up. Funny? Your love life was so secret back then. We didn't my really, love life is always going to be I secret. I a secret. Yeah, my yeah, love life. Yeah. My love at least life. we like know he's in a relationship I'm, we was I'm talking a, to. We didn't know that back then. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a player. <laughs> we never knew who Pierre was talking to, what he was doing. All you would see is like a Snapchat of him with flip flops on saying, you know what time. <laughs> oh, like, oh, like, whoa, whoa, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I don't leave the house this late <laughs> for no reason. I don't remember. Do you remember I, that? I don't remember that at all. <laughs> I don't remember that. <laughs> you know he be making shit up. Like, yeah, what? you do make shit up. I'll, 
Because I, I have, I don't I remember, remember seeing that story. I don't remember seeing in the group Pete. chat. I don't remember what. So what. Peach is posting at midnight, him ready to go out in some flip flops. Like he just got a I late think night call. He sent it to us in like the group chat. What did I, I don't remember this. I don't remember, I don't remember. it either. I remember it, but it and was. And what, what was I alluded to? You said I don't leave the house for this. I think you. I think the exact quote was, "Y'all better check up on y'all girl." I don't leave the house is late for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> I think that, that, was that, that sounded like something you were supposed to. Do. <laughs> That's something a young Pierre would say. Oh, man. And you know the reality? That's why I'm believing it now. But you know the reality? What? All I was probably doing was taking out the car. <laughs> <laughs> you got deep meals that you just cracked. Deep was like, oh, man. The Drake better watch out. <laughs> <laughs> he like, JC better be home with Beyonce. <laughs> that boy P left the house in flip-flops. Oh, man. Because, yeah, if I'm if I, in my mind... At any point in my life, if I'm linking up with a, a woman, I don't think I'm wearing no damn flip flops. No, and I'm, I'm, pulling out say, I'm not even posting that. Yeah, I definitely used to pull up in flip flops. We been there before. Yeah. Oh uh, man, no, I'm not pulling up in no flip flops, man. I'm, I'm, a, I like classy women. Late mm. night, ain't no need to be classy. But I'm, yeah, I'm, a, I'm. Oh, D Mills an expert. I'm always be uh, <laughs> I'm always be secretive. I'm a player, man. You never know. Ain't nothing wrong with being secret. You know, you know what I'm saying. Don't you, let your girlfriend stop you from finding your wife. You know what's funny? <laughs> Ocho just said that. <laughs> Did he? Yeah, he said that on night. <laughs> he said, "Hey y'all." He said, "Just because there's a goalie don't mean you can't score." <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, but uh, you, you, why, why he always so tough? Look at his face. <laughs> <laughs> you remember when he said he don't cry? Yeah. Yes, shit like that. But now yeah, it's changed up. Today. That, yes, because you I have a girlfriend. Yes. That's why I love. I cried twice yesterday. Okay, I'm not that soft. And I'm, I'm, so, like, I got I'm so, I, I for real, cry every day. I ain't cry, but I for real got emotional in Anwar's vlog when I seen that thing. I'm I like, cried yeah. then. I, I was supposed to be laughing at this. Guess what else I cried? EJ's Illinois oh, non committed picture. That, yeah. I cried there, bro. That was fire. That's yeah. little home. Like, that's yeah. little EJ. Yeah. Now he's going off to college soon. Um, not to Illinois specifically, non committed, but. He had a, a, a visit. He had a visit. Um, but yeah, Mike, I'm I'm shout out to your girlfriend because you used to be so so hard body. I don't cry. Uh, when the last ain't been sad, I don't get sad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when the last who the last girl you kiss? Kiss who does that? I don't kiss and tell. Nah, shit, I can't tell. Y'all found out. I ain't tell y'all. I know everything. I know everything about where you done laid your pistol at. No, we can talk about it afterwards. Oh, okay. I don't want to put that out over here. Yeah, I know I wouldn't do that, but I know you weren't saying that when you was. <laughs> <laughs> we can get about it. That's what I already knew he's gonna refer to. <laughs> so many hidden jokes in this one that nobody gonna get. But it's, nope. it's, it's, it's crazy. So, so you will say, "I'm gonna ask this question." I asked it six months ago. Uh-huh. Uh, your girlfriend has helped you change. Look at him being thug again. Just say yeah. Has yeah. has your girlfriend helped you change? Yes. Has your girlfriend helped you change? No. I'm just joking. I was yeah. about to say. <laughs> it's it's part of being in a real relationship. It's about growth and development together. I agree. You went from like he said somebody that was err err to now but you no say reason because we don't even look at Mike as <laughs> yeah, that. You, yeah. you not like I never thought I was it's not like real was tough. Judge you if you said you cried yesterday. Right. 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 I didn't associate I want, hey, crying I with just being. Homies, like I, want crying with being I want my homies to cry. I want my homies to cry because they're not crying. Yeah, you heating that in as bottled in. And I didn't have nothing to cry about, bro, to be honest. Yes, you did. Like what? There's just not 365 days go by. There's always something in there to cry it about. It can be tears of Like sometimes I watch my daughter do stuff, and I'm like, damn, she's doing, and that gets boom. me emotional. I, you have a younger I'm not a, sister. I don't get tears yeah, of joy. Boom, your younger sister. She's doing stuff that she, she wasn't doing your before. Your younger sister broke her arm. I did not cry at that. She didn't. She, I don't even think she cried. Oh, y'all just a family of thugs. Y'all just all tough as <laughs> shit. Nah, I'm saying the, the day she broke her arm. Bad to the When bone. she broke her arm or whatever, the next day she was at my house jumping off the wall. No, no, like no, no. The kid. next day, yeah. That's, that's probably the day. Yeah, but yeah, I'm talking about in that mid, the, yeah, in the she midst of. Cried. Yeah. yeah. yeah we tough. Yeah, I don't think no kids. And I think you think you, you think a crying <laughs> is like <laughs> ugly crying. But just a tear might come down like, damn, that's my little baby that just got hurt like that. It don't have to be like my whole face is wet. 
I kind of cry. I count like even when your Teary eyes get watery. Yeah. I count that as exactly. There's just no reason not to. My eyes got watery the other day when I dropped off Angie and my baby to go to Disney. They were going for like you, exactly three and days, like, like four days. And I was like, I oh my god! Daughter. I was like, Ivy's about to be gone for a while. Yeah, yeah. And like she's gone away, and I won't be there. Yes. Like and it was, it was a little emotional. Yeah. Exactly. As, that's, as it should be. That's fatherhood, baby. As it should. Is be. Is that how you felt when they went? Uh, yeah. See, th- no. Hey, I had that crib. It's how, <laughs> it, but it's how I felt when Mike and his mom left me and moved to Old Park. <laughs> <laughs> See, <laughs> seeing my family <laughs> go from out west to Old Park really broke me. I ain't, I ain't know my son was gonna grow up uh, Old Park here. <laughs> random tangent. Remember, I was talking to Tommy at All Star Weekend. Y'all was yeah. talking to Drew. Yeah. The other dude came in. I said his dad worked in this building. Mm-hmm. He from Old Park. And I was really? like, my homie right there from Old Park. <laughs> <laughs> Old Parkians, man. It's, I don't have memories of Old Park. Is that's how quick you left? That's how that's how young I was. You and you went to the Plex. So so yeah. what do you cl- so you don't claim Old Park there? Nah, I don't really have no like. Yeah, if was, you don't I got no not, memories, it's hard to claim. I, yeah, I was not. I was sad. I was in the house. So were your your first cognitive thought? Your first memory? You was his daughter age, Park? or you was his daughter age? Yeah, when you made it. Mm, before I moved to the Plex, I was in by by the YMCA kind of. I don't know if you ever seen it, but <laughs> that doesn't like uh, oh, yeah, age. Yeah, what age did you ch- you move? Yeah, that's why I laughed. I was like, whoa, what the hell are you talking about? I know the no, I, I'm trying to. I, I know no, the YMCA in Oak Park. I know, I know because there's apartment buildings over there. Yeah, so yeah, I'm trying to yeah. say it's like before I was in Oak Park or before before I went to the Plex. Uh-huh. I was in that area for like three four years. So maybe I was probably like five. And six. then further down, you'd be on Lake Street. That, yeah. that YMCA, yeah, yeah. So I probably like, like on the five, corner. Six year old. I spent a lot of time like in Oak Park. It's on the corner. YMCA. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. But I spent a lot of time in Oak Park in like the city because I would. My mom and dad, but they was working, so I was like with my grandparents, and uh, they stayed in the city. So your I was all, all, all over the, the place. What they still send the city? Your grandparents? Yeah, I ain't talked to them in a long time. I haven't seen my grandma in a long time. I just uh-huh. talked to my aunt though, and um, I think. She was telling me that she said <laughs> every time I hear hey, call, aunt, call your grandma, man. Every, every time I hear aunt, I laugh, bro, because you are crazy. I have like four. Aunts, I know, so but I, I, the imaginary one, <laughs> yeah. I, they all are that one person. No. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Because no. you don't listen to his album. You, you don't support your homie. So yeah. I'm not it's the inside joke. I'm not going to no. say it because you don't want to support your homie. Go, you knew go him listen to the album and you'll know. You, longer, you knew him longer than you knew anybody in this room, but you don't support him. Just because I ain't listen to the album? Yeah. Yes, that's his biggest creative endeavor. I watch his streams. That, the and album like, yeah. is his biggest creative endeavor. I sent him. I sent him. What was that? Ten gifted one night. Oh, never mind. You bro, can. he he gifted. He said, "Bro, I ain't mean to send ten. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You tried to send one. Yeah. <laughs> I said, "Ain't Credit no card. refunds here, bro." No refunds. <laughs> Angie said, fifty dollars Twitch." Bro, I started having to <laughs> unfollow everybody on my Twitch, bro. Mm. What whispers? No, it's because I used to always just raid girls after the random girls. Used to. I raid Carmi, but she not no random, I guess. At least not no more. But, yeah, it, I just remember, like, because she be on my iPad, and it just say, what's the name is online? What's the name is online? <laughs> yeah. Salt Shakers is online. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, you can't have that up the Big Milky online, huh? <laughs> it's crazy what the Just Chatting feed can look like. Yes. He crazy, bro. He he done, he done raided people when I, I'm in there and it's a whole ordeal going on. Mm-hmm. Well, the, I, the gameplay is in a small box, but she's ninety percent of the screen. Like, what character are you even playing right now? You can't even one tell. time I left and I came back, it was somebody vacuuming in a bikini. <laughs> I'm like, my crazy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy that that content just people sit there and just watch if you it. vacuum in a speedo, boy, you be a rich man. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Clean if you want to you know watch me vacuum in the speedo, you crazy. <laughs> <laughs> he is like, we gotta get that shit on film now. <laughs> well, John I'm about the bus. I'm, 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 like, I'm, uh, I'm like, I'm curious of what. I'm like Chris Jenner. Mm-hmm. You doing fast? You checking it out? Is it? I, I haven't. No, I haven't checked it out. You, but, but you said you're curious. I'm curious. So what's is he gonna? So you're gonna check it out? No, <laughs> that, 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 don't surpri- just, that don't surprise me. This dude was in that time of job. So that Drake pick. Can't be crazy. No comment. But no, but like, I, and WWE isn't it against the rules yeah. to have show nudity? That's yeah, why I'm so, curious to what content he's gonna make. It had nothing to do with seeing Justin's hammer. Yeah. Oh. yeah, that is a crazy rule because of how they do stuff. 
All I haven't even I haven't watched wrestling in a long time, but my entire feed was about what's her name? Rhea Ripley. Rhea Ripley? Yeah. Oh yeah. So they, they definitely promoted. What a match! They don't, they, yeah, they know what they're doing, but then they. It's always been that. It's been that always, thing. always. Yeah, it's the business. I remember but true they status. Say no, no, no nips, no under thing. But you can have an OnlyFans or whatever, but you cannot show nudity if you're a WWE athlete. They was just talking about this. I know we keep, on, but Nike they was talking about. Could you? It was talking about Ultra was talking about how he did, had made an OnlyFans, and he said he made two hundred eighty-five thousand in a day. He was like, that was a quick bag. Did he do anything? Did he post anything? Nah, he said he was just pretty much making people subscribe, and then you would buy, buy content, and you would think it would be something new to you, but it wasn't. <laughs> so he's admitting to, like, yeah. scan. Okay. Oh, I might have to do That's that. That's what people be, like, buying it for mostly. Obviously, there's the people that's just like, yeah, I need to see it. But there's people that's just like, I'm curious as hell to see what they actually do. I might have to do that. John Cena only fans. I'm here. And it's going to be me like this. Oh, they go, no, no, not that. No. They're going to buy, and I'm going to be like this. <laughs> Hey, it's me working on my golf swing. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny. Uh, Randy Orton quoted it and said, "Let's collab." Dang, um, you bought that. He's quickly, working. Huh? He's working out in this video. Oh, but he captioned it. Mm, actually, I shouldn't read this on our on air. <laughs> if they if they collabed you about it, no. Uh -uh. I mean, it's just them. Wrestling. It was a very provocative. Um, yes. Idol? Yes, that's funny. But he's he's working out. He's not doing anything that Vince McMahon got rest his soul. No, don't rest his no. soul. Um, Vince McMahon, it will be Triple H. Right. No, none that Triple H wouldn't approve of. <laughs> That's actually crazy. Why you see, say God rest his soul? He he he's dead to me. Oh. Uh, After the stuff he did. I don't, yeah. I can't even remember what he did. Oh, oh yes I do. Cause I was seeing him, he looked like a uncooked chicken in them pictures. He was like, What's <laughs> up with his health? Yeah, he was doing his some stuff. Is, his yeah, ass like his table. He's a, he's a big weirdo. Yeah. And should go in jail for a long time for it. Why, why are the mega rich people like that? I'm not sure. Not sure. Power. When the next time y'all trying to go? Uh, I'm going today at 2.15. Two, oh, wow. I have to go take my car in today. Yeah, speaking of cars, I think mine should be ready tomorrow. Let's wrap up, man. Uh, thank y'all so much. We got to the two-hour mark, Austin. We sure did. Thank you so much for watching this two-hour episode. Said he's it's a Gatorade or something. Numbers on the board. If you enjoyed it, leave it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Over 60% of y'all aren't subscribed watching these Do videos. That. What the hell are you doing? Let's help get us to 100K. Spotify, Apple, Stitcher, Podbean, wherever you get your audio, go over there and download those as well. Right I now. today. Yes, sir. And all NBA, not, not all NBA podcasts, all sports podcasts in, the, in America right now, we were sitting at 24, which we'll take. We want to get 23 and then 22 and then 21. Only 24 for Kobe. Something for them to comment. Move up. I want them. I want to know who made them this far, so we can so they they saw that information. So if you made it this far, screenshot this. Oh no! Get us out of here! Get us out of here! Get us out of here! Get us.